look at right. already. Mm -hmm. I love the changes to start. This is going to be a tough game where both teams are going to have to show some different looks. You can't just glide on by right. through this one. There's going to be a lot of pressure each round, and we're going to see it starting right here, Doug. I am super stoked to see Gambit up against 100 Thieves. I like what you did there too. Glide on by. Sky is in the composition yeah, now. You know, little bird. We're like in there. That. Yeah. So I like yeah. what you're cooking up. To look at that a little bit. Redgar and Shados both switching off some some common plays for them of the Omen of the Sage here and on Ascent for Gambit. That's Shados that would have been on Sage as well. And now we see their first strat is going to be nice, spread out. Spikes left out in the back of their spawn, so they can look to commit to anything here on the side of Gambit. Yeah, and if there's one thing you know about Gambit, it's that they like to play slow. They like to play very methodically. I don't know that we're going to see oh, anything hot and spicy, although 100 Thieves are trying to apply a little bit of that pressure on B-side. Asuna drops. Ethan's down to 13 health, so the initial trade yeah. goes in favor of Gambit. And beautiful utility by Nats, the Astro Stars as well, were over by a main, which has given them all the knowledge that they don't have to go back, check anything behind them. Moving forward is all they have to look at and Defo is going to be able to find another one as Ethan pops out with a wide swing and two more members of 100 Thieves there to see what they can do and see what's in mid. Ooh, Shados, you're going to be able to dodge a nade, wow. but you can't dodge that shock dart. Pops him right in the face, down to 10 health as the fight for the middle of the map continues. Excellent paranoia, but again, there's nothing off of that, right? Steel drops. Hiko has to reposition. Doug, Doug Gambit hasn't even pushed to a site yet. They are just mm -hmm. finding 100 Thieves, peeking everywhere they can. Now finally committing towards left. A. After they know Long is clear, they're going to send the spike there to be safe. But they don't even have to do this yet. They can still mill about. They have full control of the map and pistol. Hiko's going to drop as well. Nitro's left alone early on. The nice thing for him is that all members of Gambit are weak. Yeah. Uh, but this would be a pretty tall order. He's got nothing but a classic as oh. well. Oh, he's already gotten two. He's got three on the round, 17 health. He's going to have to reposition things just a tad as the spike continues to tick away. They see him drop down. Not able to, well, was able to isolate the gunfight. Not able to land the shots. Red Guard cleans him up. Gambit, get the pistol. A little sketchy towards the end there. I think Gambit losing a little bit more than they wanted. As kind of 100 Thieves knew what angles they needed. We can see they can make the shots, but beautiful distribution of agency across the map to start off for Gambit. Never really taking one fight. Nice shots by Redgar over towards B. Then they were able to work mid. Finally ending A, just bringing it right across the horn to see what 100 Thieves had for the first round. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to see a lot of that, right? Yeah. Touch and go, feel things out again. They like to play slowly. They like to wait and see if the opposing team is going to apply a bit of pressure and then them react off of that. And that's that's been the tried and true method. It's worked so well for them. Nitro's going to drop. Ethan's able to trade Defo out. However, as the Marshall gets cleaned up, looks like it's going to get picked up as they just walk into Nats. Nats able to get two. Hiko gets that back. Asuna gets a weapon upgrade as well as the spike has gone into A and it's going to go in for free. Good damage from 100 Thieves, but Gambit do come out on top. That whole role is to grab a gun, find a Spectre, be able to walk away with one. And while Asuna does have one of his own, it may be tough for them to get this round in their favor without collecting a few more weapons and having a few more members. It's 3v2, though. Hiko and Asuna, a clutch in the works. Oh, Redgar waiting for the flank. Asuna just on the other side of that box as that Hiko has joined the action as well. Redgar's going to spot him. Redgar's able to clean him up, drops things down to a 3v1. Hiko has got the marshal. Redguard's just going after him, though. He's, they're all going after him, though. They're hunting him down. Hiko's not able to get anything. Shadows cleans him up. Gambit holds serve. Now 100 Thieves are at a place where they can respond. All right. Now, how can Gambit work this bonus? And will 100 Thieves be able to start chipping away at this economy built up? You see everybody getting some frags in here, which means alt points are coming around. It's good to see on deck for Nats. If they get an early kill, that Cypher ultimate is so much more uh, advantageous to have when you are finding every member of where 100 Thieves would be. But I think this one again, Doug, as you said, will be slow. Now that 100 Thieves has weapons, I can't see Gambit rushing into a site. They want to pull a little bit of utility out of this side. It's going to be a hot oh, heavy I mean, towards Crow, baby. Yeah, we talked about them going slow, but this time they've dialed up. They've dialed up the speed. They've dialed up the pressure, and they've gotten some progress. Nats was able to take out the seal, but Asuna trading it out. Hiko looking to hold things down on the back of the side as Defo's going to fall as well. Nitro yeah. and Hiko seem to be doing just fine. But what can Shados do? He's going to have to challenge Hiko. The Tracer is giving away Hiko's position down to certainly low health, and it's a classic who wins the round for 100 Thieves there on the board putting out the dance floor for the bonus. And I thought it would be that. You know, Gambit's good at getting behind each other, running those strats, but the slow 
get the utility out of 100 Thieves, I think, would have been the advantageous round there. We know 100 Thieves can act fast. They usually are kind of stacking a site with one leaner here. It was towards B, leading oh. towards that side. And Steel says, bring me more. Bring me more, baby. Great round by 100 Thieves to stop the bonus, but it's no, not too much sweat off of Gambit's back as they're right back into a gun round here into round four. Right, and this is, again, much like the story of these two teams, this is the first round where we're going to see good against good, right? Full rifles on both sides. How are things going to pan out? Defo tries going aggressive, tries to take the high ground across the middle of the map. Asuna yanks him right back down. Three towards A this side. So they're switching where they're putting the priority on the defensive side of 100 Thieves. And again, Spike being dropped by Gambit. The slow play, the read, trying to find with utility here. Towards mid, they're always putting somebody up towards bench. I love right. that. They get close, maybe some audio can be heard. And we do see that two agents get hit by zero point there for steel, so the knowledge is had. But remember, Riv, this is very similar to what we saw them do the other day against Havon Liberty. They'll give up the middle of the map, and That's yeah, true. Havon Liberty was able to work their way up, but they weren't able to punish them. It's on Gambit to be able to make something happen out of that real estate. Then, all right, so he knows Nats is there. He's got some mutual at the flash, the swing, the kill delivered. Ethan takes care of Nats. Now they have, re they have established control once again of Tree. 5v2 coming into this one, a little low on Soft. Nitro, but Asuna still going for that flank around the outside. Remember, coming from this flank, that A main area is where Nats had his camera, had his utility. So now that Asuna has seen that utility at A, if he sees it again without anyone there, he can infer mm -hmm. it's being played to the other side of the map. So big info grabbed by Asuna for that push through A for further rounds. And as the round, as the round went on, Redgar somehow <laughs> finds himself on the opposite. I mean, deep in defender spawn. The yeah. spike is nowhere near him, so collects and expire. We hope. Uh, the Red Guard is able to save the Vandal, carry it on into the next round, but 100 Thieves are going to be able to tie things up. And again, I, I, I know I mentioned it in this round, Riff, but I think the thing we have to keep an eye on is the middle of the map. Our Gambit able to punish the fact that 100 right. Thieves continue to leave that alone. They, see, they, they wanted to pressure even being found out on that play, right? They're saying, okay, what do you do with that zero point knowledge? How do you move towards Cat? And it was kind of everyone else pinched around them towards Cat. That uh, aggression towards Cat never came from Steel, never came from anybody else. So I think the read and playing into the read is all 100 Thieves wants to do right now. All right, so here we've got Gambit on a lighter buy. Redgar being the exception. Defo doing the same thing he did previously, right? Tries to go up top, has the Blade Storm, and this time not punched by Asuna. They're able to get across the middle of the map, but Asuna going hunting is spotted. Nats, the flash was there. It was beautiful as Nats gets cleaned up. A little assistance from the Sky Flash. They get themselves out of the A main area in a beautiful push by Defo here, Doug. This is the Blade Storm out. This could literally separate everything 100 Thieves has worked on so far this round. No, Asuna. Not, man, they, they just react so well. But Defo wins out with the Blade Storm, goes Still up top. There. Not going to spot anyone there. But they've gotten back behind enemy lines. The thing is, 100 Thieves, they've rotated down. And we've got a little flip of the map, right? Now they're the ones being that are flanking Gambit as they work towards B Garage. The drone is going to clear things out. But again, thank you to the observers, Paul pointing that out. Seal and Ethan are playing a little ring around the rosy. One drops, the second one's there. They've got him tagged. And they've got nothing but a, a sheriff. Yeah, there's nothing doing there. The spike's going to drop. Defo still has that blade storm, but he doesn't have the spike. He finds himself in a 1v4. Oh, reset. Make that a 1v3. 30 seconds left. Reset. Okay, make that a 1v2. Defo manages to pick up the spike as well. Understands he goes there. Ethan's going in there as well. He goes into guard save. Defo good for four. Looking to work the ace with the blade storm. Hiko. He's got a Util! Defo does it! My goodness! The ace to kick off the series for Gambit! Absolutely absurd. Never should have been allowed to happen. And Defo is just on point. The pixel shots previously on Bind with the Operator, the full resets to bring the Ace in with the Blade Storm. That's an absolute mental crusher for the side of 100 Thieves. I mean, I, I guess like the one benefit, right, if you're going to call a silver lining is that it's early, right? There's time to move off of that, but a gorgeous ace by Defo. And again, for, for 100 Thieves, like they were playing off of each other's flashes. They were trying to play through things as best as they could, but took a little magic. Defo was able to clean things up. Now, both teams back on full rifles. No op on the board.
absolutely incredible what we've seen Gambit do just in five rounds here. What's going to happen for the rest? 100 Thieves now taking a little more space than usual as they move up. Now they tend to aggress. Ethan and Asuna coming up big. It was beautiful. It was a play. They've got Seekers now that have followed up as well, but the Paranoia swinging off of that. They were able to establish mid-map control, even cleaning up the player that was down in Sub Rosa off of the, off of the peak from Top Cat and from Arch. There was just so much pressure applied there in the middle at that moment. Gambit had no way to respond. Now Nats is in a 1v5. Again, surely not a little deja vu. Hika stops the shenanigans this time around, cleans him up. We're tied up at three apiece. If he didn't have his hat on, it probably would have been a lot easier. Cypher, no hat, <laughs> impossible to shoot. Purple Reina, impossible. But no, it's going to be a round for round. Punch for punch, it seems like. Even with fantastic rounds, you'll have team rounds after that. So I feel like we're going to get a lot of highlight all-star plays, team rounds coming in throughout this one. And I hope we go all the way to three maps because I am already loving this. We are into your seventh round. It's going to be some sheriffs. Do you have that phantom on the side of De or, uh, Gambit for Defo? We'll see if they can work that into a few more pickups on the side of 100 Thieves. Now it's Asuna who's going to be bringing his Blade Storm into the fold, see if he has, at least, I mean, even a fraction of the same success that was had before him. No, okay, he was able to get one, but the flash, the utility, the heavy pressure mid, he ended up getting traded out. So, fours across the way, the Cosmic Divide comes out as the fight ensues across the middle of the map. Chronicle's going to drop Nitro. Playing just around the smoke. He's got two players from Gambit there. But is he going to face check it? Yes, he is. Good for one. The place comes Time in from the middle of the map as well. Apply pressure. Same side at the exact same time. Beautiful execution by 100 Thieves. See if this is the final one. Almost a right click from Redgar as they go down there on their save. Asuna going down very quick, uncharacteristically. Gambit was there, ready to know they could create pressure in mid. It was a nice job to drop the Blade Storm as fast as possible on that one. Still, 100 Thieves come up with the round as they change up the gameplay, get a little bit more aggressive on these guns, and then not give so much respect on the eco rounds because Gambit will sweep the rug right out from under you any which way. Sweep out the rug? Sweep the rug out. You went there? Yeah, I did. With our name, that's <laughs> unbelievable. You think you know a guy. Four seconds before the round starts. Again, rifles across the board. Asuna has that op in hand. Defo is going to be matching across the way. And I don't know that we're going to see much of an op duel. As you see, Asuna is going to be checking out tiles. Defo working the middle of the map as best as he can. There was a little bit of information gathered towards A. But nothing out oh, quite yet. Defo lands the first one on the seal. It's really the first time Steel's been into market on that B-side area. We usually see him on cat, zero points, able to figure out mid-round information. We won't get that this time. Nitro does have an ultimate to sweep across the map if they do need to start setting up three on A, but Gambit perfectly fine to stay and look for another peak. Defo's on fire. Let him heat up a little bit more. I mean, that's our bread and butter, right? Absolutely. Like, let's wait. Let's see if we can spot anything, see if anyone plays aggressively. And again, as you said, you've got Defo who's warming up, who's certainly feeling himself. Give him an opportunity to shine. Make that bad boy sing. He's had some success so far. Nitro there's grabbing info, right? So there's nothing going down a long. But the thing is, like with Gambit, because of their play style, you, you can do that with 10 seconds left in the round and you still may not get enough info. Omen Smoke to Cat to slow things down if that were the play. Smoke's going down in mid as this is Gambit now trying to separate the map on 100 Thieves rotation. They're all getting on B now and it's gonna be a hard hit with four. Mid B split, last time they did this, it was not successful. Can they have a better time? As they go here again, you've got Asuna and Ethan who are both starting to show up, but can they hold fast in time? Nitro's already good for two. Looking for the third, no. Chronicle cleans him up. Oh. I know exactly. Leave things into 3v2. The Neural Theft is going to come out as well. Asuna with the op. The spike goes down. No challenge going to be coming through that cage quite yet. And there's a second one as well. Hunter's Fury on to Ethan. He's going to get tagged up. Surely, I mean, I guess they could go for it here, but you've got an op and you've got a, a rifle. Maybe you just play for exits. This is such a brutal spot for 100 Thieves. As Gambit, as Gambit have like fully established control of the site, they're hunkered down in there. There's no way they're getting exactly. out. Right? Like this is beautiful play from Gambit. A really great job. So I, going in, I was like four strong on the site. They sent all five in. There are every angle is being watched from highway to stairs. Now can they make it out? Is the question oh. the lat for Masana, of course. But Nats will find it out with his Phantom. Should be able to get out of this one. Good to go. All right, so we're talk, talking to me about about economy here, because we're we're finding ourselves in this spot where most rounds have been very costly for both teams, right? We haven't seen any clean sweeps. Rounds are being traded back and forth. Like, for in a situation like that, how valuable is it to at least have Nat save the Phantom? 
I mean, in the grand scheme of things, as long as you see that Defo's still getting operators, you're fine. The Phantom can drop more. We'll see. actually see if the Phantom is dropped to somebody, which was they're going to be purchasing here. But looking at that econ, what they've spent, how much they have left, that was the first yeah. round with 3,000 in the wind going over to Gambit. So if they lose this, they're actually going to be back on a round where they're not buying too much. Well, Spectre for Shados already and Redgar. Austin again pushed off of that bench angle that we saw just a couple of rounds ago. Some decent info, right, with the knife. Nico using a Hunter's Fury, a little dance, a little jiggle, a little two-step. Not able to land the kill. Fancy footwork keeps him alive, at least for the time being. I wonder if Nats's weapon will be found out and grabbed here. Shados is rotating over. That may be what happens as they get a little more firepower onto Ascent. Spike being dropped here lets you know Gambit's going to play the slow roll figure out where steel might be, figure out where that rest of Ethan's utility might be that makes it a little difficult to get in the site. And there's a bit of a clue as they see Seekers Whoa. coming out of A. Yeah, but the Seeker didn't spot Defo. The Seeker didn't spot Defo, so he was able to get past that yeah. as the Seeker crossed him undetected. So there may be some unexpected pressure coming in from Tree onto Hiko and onto Steel. And, okay, well, that's going to give him away now. <laughs> the Seeker missed it. The knife does not, but it looks like they want to go towards A. Defo. Down to 62 health, oh Ethan's gosh. in a great spot, able to get three. Defo left alone. Head. You've got Chronicle towards Y, but Defo, Defo's good for two. Chronicle got one on a Nitro as well. How is this round being flipped the other way? It's just Asuna in a 1v2. Asuna's got the ob too. Spike not down yet, Asuna misses the shot. Chronicle does not, as he gets three and game to take the lead again. Patient play. Shados walking back across the map to grab Nat's Phantom making sure the round would go in their favor. All the little things they're doing here are so impressive to be able to route 100 Thieves. And after these shots come up, it does not phase Gambit. Defo's always ready to go, just absolutely out of his mind. He's like, I got to take this out, obviously, and still ready for the play to come through from Chronicle. I know it's wow. early, Riv. I know it's early, but there were questions around how Defo would perform. Like, can he compete with Asuna? Can he do well at this stage? And the guy seems entirely unfazed yeah. right now. An excellent start. But 100 Thieves, again, find themselves in a spot where they can still buy. Right? Like, financially, as much as things have gone back and forth, yeah. you haven't really seen them in a, in, a, in a dire situation. Those rounds they were able to mount after the bonus, something they kept in the bank account. And they haven't had to use too much utility per round if it's just been firefight. So that has helped. Defo comes up big again, Doug. The cloud burst, the flash, and the swing off of that. Defo takes space away. They know Nitro's down there. He's going to get cleaned up, not without Nitro taking Nats along the way. But Gambit, well, I, I hesitate to say Gambit because it's Defo who's gotten onto the site. Defo has control. The rest of Gambit is just now arriving to the party. The spike should be able to go down. What sort of a retake attempt do we have out of 100 Thieves? Look at this Defo. The man who's usually hiding in the shadows on Operator right in your face. He actually gets oh. all sorted out. Back to the off, not in the spot he wants to be. Could the zero point be the play? Oh, up close and personal. Steel's able to get, but Redgar's able to trade him back. Steel left alone in a 1v2. Wow. Steel gets cleaned up as well. Gambit are winning crucial gunfights, Riv. Like these close hairline on knife's edge fights. They're all going Gambit's way. And it does seem like a few of these rounds now favoring towards A. The way Chronicle has been able to hold Sova Dart, Sova Util from A main. There is comfortability in this for Gambit. We may not see them continuously do it. That's how you get stopped in your strap, but that one seems like a bread and butter for them. They set up so well after they plan on A, and 100 Thieves is left getting shot on hard angles. And now we find 100 Thieves with pistols. Mm -hmm. And even then, as it seems like we've got a timeout going down, take this opportunity to, to regain. You've got Nitro and Steel, who both may be rocking marshals, but the rest of the way, it is just pistols. And I mean, again, Riv for him first, back and forth as things, as things have gone, this is a bit concerning, especially when you consider when it comes to sides, this is Gambit's weaker side and it's by a long shot. It just looks comfortable. You know, it seems like they, they always say this, they've done their homework, but you have to feel, it doesn't matter what homework you've done, you have to feel how your opposing team is playing that day. Is Asuna on those peaks? You know, is, is Ethan on those peaks? You're figuring out and reading the way 100 Thieves is playing, as you see chatter going on with the coach right now. And they're using that from round to round. It does look like they're able to dissect a little bit of what 100 Thieves is defending, whether that goes towards mid, whether that goes towards A and the rounds they've gone late towards B from the side of Gambit's attack. 
and, and I think that's what, what's concerning, right? So, like, they they are sitting very comfortably. I think given how back and forth this has gone, this already almost feels like a win of a half for Gambit because for sure, when you pop over to their defensive half, that's a 72% win rate. That's scary. That's terrifying. Absolutely scary. And this is kind of that new look. Obviously, Red Gar knowing Astra, yep. Shado's playing the sky, yep. but in this competitive setting right now, internationally, they are bringing this composition out and playing it very nicely. We'll see what they have for the rest of this round. Looks like Ethan and Asuna do want to be able to grab some ground here and most of 100 Thieves towards A side. Right, but when you feel all of this pressure towards A, okay, so it looks like they are going to reset. The thing about Gambit is they didn't pull off, right? Like, they felt that pressure towards A. They felt that pressure from Long. They did not instantly, like, all right, if they're going to come at us A, let's go ahead and flip the map and go B. Very patient, very calm. And as you see, like, 100 Thieves are expecting that, mm -hmm. right? They applied pressure A, instantly went back towards B. Gambit didn't take the bait. Oh, he's spread out across the map. Gambit doing a nice job of not of just not letting themselves get taken out dry. They're always using utility here. Defo on your screen has been huge. Nats during the stage three was somebody you could always look at to have a clutch. One of the top players for this squad. You can always rely on him to do something big. Him and Defo are going to be the forefront of this execution. And there's nobody home, right? Like, I, I think at this point... The, tri the difficult thing for 100 Thieves 2 is knowing Gambit's play style, mm -hmm. the silence doesn't tell you anything, right? Like the silent, you can't left. really pick anything up off of that because that's their textbook approach every single round. Now the spikes are going to go down towards A. Now they right know here. where the play is, but they've got an excellent setup. You've got tripwires to make sure nobody comes around. Even if that somehow gets passed, you've got the camera to make sure A long yeah. is fully covered and there's nobody waiting in wine. They have presence towards that half of the map. You've also got the astral stars making sure there's nobody that yeah, comes in. Yeah, gravity like, while there. Yeah, exactly. They have an excellent setup here. Cloudburst is in. Gambit knows the attack is hitting now from 100 Thieves. I what mean, can they do? They're sitting dog Riv. Like, they, as soon as three pop out, the gravity well it drops them dead in their spots. Steel's able to take one with him, but that may be all that happens as Nitro's left alone. On the way out. In this 1v4, gets flashed up. The spike continuing to tick away. No additional account. Well, actually, they may die to the spike. Nah. All right, they're going to get away just fine. No additional economy Last damage done, right? Nothing. And it, it seems like it only took a bit for those few rounds to feel out how 100 Thieves was going to play that if, I were, right. if they were going to be patient, which it does seem like 100 Thieves has trended towards those rounds. We saw them push out on Cat once with Ethan, a few towards B, and that seemed to surprise Gambit, but it, not so much anymore. They don't want to find Defos up. They're trying to let Asuna work. So again, the game slows down to see if that first Operator pick comes through. 100 Thieves here looking to try to get to a 7-5. Haven't had very much success on this defensive half. They do have a couple of key ultimates, and Steel and Asuna are both one point away from getting theirs online, but the Null Command is not going to be a factor here. Steel drops. Asuna is able to trade one out, though, and he gets a Blade Storm. It's Defo. They drop the other off. That's big. Ethan, a huge frag onto Nats. Always watching the flanks there. They know they needed to remove him. But it's too early. The Seekers are too early. You're not getting any information. You're not getting any value out of that. Yeah, you can pop it now, but you know they're just going to sit, right? Like, they're just going to pop a squad. They're not going to show anything, and then they'll adjust. There's, there's just too much time in the round, in my opinion, to be investing an ultimate like that. Another Seeker going towards spawn. That was followed by Redgars. He is real close now inside B by himself. And that's going to be a Boathouse Nitro. How big of a play is this? Asuna and Nitro are able to get one apiece. Shados in a 1v4. Excellent setup. Asuna goes up top. Shados yanks him down, but Hiko cleans things up. So, I, I, I mean, really, back and forth. I, the thing that's so hard for me is for as close as the half is, right? A 7 5 yeah. half, that's great. That feels really good. It was competitive, it was close. What concerned me is what's on the other side of halftime, right? Yeah. Uh, Gambit's bread and butter, insanely high win rate on that half. Defensively, that's that's tough, Riv. It absolutely is. They're going to know exactly Asuna's going to want to op. These guys are going to play it slow. It'll be Hiko darts for most of it and wait for the drone. So I think 100 Thieves is definitely going to have to spice it up here coming into the second half and to break through that barrier that Gambit puts on defense. Well, not even that, but also, like, how do you get past Defo? 
right? Like we talked about it in the first half. There were questions about how he'd be able to perform. The guy's been lights out. And we even thought, well, the first series was against no. Crazy Raccoon, you know, okay. Now it's against 100 Thieves. Can you compete? Right. Dude's been out of control. And you have Shados, Chronicle as well, who can also frag like that. Everybody's coming online. So we actually may just get a more volatile second half from both teams now that like, all right, this is how you play. There is a bit of a read that goes on in the first half. The, the nerves get shaken off. You're yeah. reading the way your opponent wants to play. And then it's the change, the paradigm shift on how you approach second half. Excellent first half from both these teams. We're going to toss it over to Sean. Outrageously good looking Sean to break down what he saw in the first half. Sean, take it away. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. So I really want to talk about how slow and methodical everything Gambit is doing, but I also wanted to include in a really cool thing that happened in the middle of this half. So at the start of the round, I'll set the scene right now. So at B, what you noticed was the Astra was playing super passively because she would go in astral form in this corner. And the reason why she's doing this is because Nats has put a tripwire right in front of her and she has put a star right in front of that. So the plan seems to be where someone pushes B, they get right up to the trip, they'll probably shoot it or potentially walk into it. And this star would then turn into a gravity well or a stun and she would get a free kill. Meanwhile, these two players are gonna take control of mid. The Sova is gonna help with an arrow from top. And Nats over here at A is gonna cam the A main wall. And he has a trip very, very passively set up. The Astro Star is on mid, serve as smokes. And then that pretty much sets everything up. Okay, so let's let's start playing the clip. And you heard Ethan just flashed into A main. And now Steel is lining up a flash for mid. And you can see Asuna has made his way to Catwalk and he is playing off of this flash. So the second Asuna gets that frag, Steel flashes, they back off passively. And then you can see Ethan right away is going to start trailblazing the A main push. Steel is calming right now in the bottom of your team. You can see he's furiously calming and there's a trailblazer going right now and Asuna is following it in A main. The next thing that happens is insane. I have yet to see this in a pro game. Steel throws the Suppression Blade into the wall. And let's pause it real quick. So you can see up here, when he throws that Suppression Blade, Asuna gets past Nat's trip. And I have yet to see this happen, but this was a super cool thing that happened early on in this game. And let's keep playing it now. And that's what's gonna gift Asuna a frag that Gambit never expected. The teamwork from Nitro comes in. You saw the one-way smoke there coming into Catwalk all the way from this B site by Hiko. And there's that free frag for Asuna. Hiko darts the mid wall right after. And let's stop here for a split second. So you can see right there, he, that was the frag that Asuna gets on Catwalk. He dashes away back by Steel and he's going to end up repositioning. So we're gonna get to watch it all over and we can play right now. So Nitro has smoked mid and he has left this B area to defend mid. The when he hears the Trailblazer come through, he backs off and there's his one way that he's thrown on Catwalk. And now Gambit is in shambles. They're just spread out across the entire map. Austin is pinching from top mid and the round is literally lost. But I just want to show you guys how difficult this was for 100 Thieves and why Gambit is such a strong team. You have to do a lot to find the first blood against them. And I don't know how 100 Thieves is going to continue this when they're on their attack half with the KO. So back to you, Riven, Doug. Thank you so much, Sean. Yeah, it, it really just has been impressive performance for both teams. And you're right, even when you, you do everything perfectly, like you saw 100 Thieves do in that play that Sean was breaking down, it, it has to be that if you're going to take something away from Gambit. Yeah. So excellent first half from both teams. Now we're going to see how they do on their opposing halves. 100 Thieves going to start off on the attack. They find themselves down two rounds. And for Gambit, this is their bread and butter, man. Yeah, Gambit, this is where they're good. Gambit is ghost hunting right now. Look at this. Four ghosts to start. You get tagged by a few of those, you're done. Yep. These, these angles are going to be hard held by Gambit. That's tough to get by, especially when you're trying to range with a classic. Hopefully they can hit their dinks for a little aim punch because they're going to need it. Two seconds before the round starts. See how things kick off here as 100 Thieves. A little smoke towards mid. 
nothing else going on quite yet. So for 100 Thieves, at least for now, it looks like they may be trying to draw up a little something out of Gambit's book, but this early pressure, Asuna, the flash was there, a little friendly fire. They were able to push that off, but Asuna's down to 25 health, and Ethan's already dropped. My word. Nat's so fast with that. See? Hard angles. You cannot do much. If you're trying a classic through a wall, you're getting hit by with a ghost. They're going to start getting back. It doesn't look like they'll be able to get too much more positioning off of that. They're happy with what happened in mid lane on the side of Gambit, and they're just going to hold those positions. Three strong. Good luck getting through that crossfire, if anything, were ever to try. And I think it's going to be an NB execute, but I don't believe 100 Thieves are going to try too much. No, uh, together. Yeah, I know. I think the tricky thing, too, is you've got so much presence mid on the side of Gambit that even if you do make your presence known towards B coming out of Garage, like there's just easy help there very quickly. Yeah. So you kind of have to flip it. The nice thing for them is you still have 35 seconds. You can readjust. It looks like they're leaning back towards A. Gambit are furiously trying to get back quickly to help out. Left. So this, this should at least be a spike plan for 100 Thieves. <laughs> Checking everything. They're like, there may still be a rat. There may still be a rat. This is already impressive that they're able to make it across the map. A bit of extra money in the hands now of 100 Thieves as they're looking to hold strong. All of them in the sight. This could make it tough. And you can see Gambit saying, where's the flank? Where's it coming from? To their surprise, Steel is posted up on the site. Uh, not going to be sniffing anything out this time around. And the approach is going to come in from up in heaven and from tree. Steel's already been cleaned up. Hiko's trying to play Last down in hell. And it's going to have to be some hell of a heroic play to make this happen. And that might be exactly what it was. Hiko was able to get two, but Nats is three. Kills on the round. Get them the defuse. Gambit win the pistol. Expected. Ghost hunting. Going out. Going to be able to take that one down. It did seem like it was just kind of overpowered for, for Gambit to be running in. Knowing there was no flank, all the focus is in sight. It's whatever is in mm -hmm. front of you. And here, things like this, pop instantly. It's going to be more effective when you're going out with the ghost there. And they just use their firepower to take it down. Great try by 100 Thieves to capitalize. And decent damage done. It's going to be those Spectres in. Ethan and Asuna. Okay. They want to try to get some uh, spice in the mix here. Buy up a little bit for Gambit. You've got the marshal in the hands of Defo. Makes sense. Lighter weapons the rest of the way. Bit of a heavy lean towards B from Gambit as Defo is looking to take some of that early space away. I love that. Don't let the Ultor be farmed. Don't let that space taken away for Gambit. They cannot give up an inch. Make a little noise. Some steppies. He's like, sure. Get somebody to peek. So they're playing a little audio warfare there. No one's going to bite with all those Astra Stars set up. They're obviously going to be using the utility on the way in. But 100 Thieves, not as much, you know, feeling out the map to figure out what's going on. Relying on each other's power and buddy system, which is not a problem. They're just looking to be able to trade off of these specters and make sure those sheriffs can capitalize to pick one up. And with 50, a little under... Uh, a minute left in the round. There's actually a ton of info that was just gathered by Chronicle using the drone to get yep. back towards B, right? That allows Defo to swing out a bit further, and that calls the rotate moving. instantly. Exactly, Rip. So they, they given how things play out, oh, they're able to pull towards A right into the gravity well that they had set up. You see a couple of members of 100 Thieves get cleaned up instantly as Nitro's left alone in this 1v4. So for, for Gambit, I, I think... What's been just so left. impressive for me is their macro play, right? Like they're reading the map so well, they're grabbing info that they need at just the right time, and they're oh, acting on it, and it's paying yeah. off beautifully. It's kind of uh, interesting that 100 Thieves, you know, they'll see the stars as, as we finish this one up. Nitro's going to get a few for himself, but going down uh, with that plethora of Gambit members coming in. They see the stars. I think they're starting to realize they can't trick Redgar. He is fast. He's ready. He's usually sitting in astral form, and he will get you caught just about every time. Again, they try to move in, and even Asuna yep. gets sucked right back Down through eight. after his dash Last forward. So stand. it's getting real tough. They don't really have a safe spot to stand, and Gambit's making sure of it. All right, but now, now we've got things getting like potentially worse, right, yeah. for 100 Thieves. They're on full pistols here because of their investment in some weaponry and in utility in the previous round they're not able to you know typically they'd be buying full here but they can't they've only got pistols while gambit's still riding that bonus so it was a big gamble in the previous round but this could really get out of hand for 100 thieves defo's already good onto one the paranoia is going to drop him out so he's going to have to back up just a bit but for for 100 thieves you feel things out you back up you have to understand here 
A is not an option. It A is not safe. Doesn't seem like it at all. The A-plus defense from Gambit holds that one down. Looks like Asuna and the team will reset, make sure any of the ground they have not checked yet is still safe to walk through. Shados already just shutting down a walk forward that 100 Thieves had. They are meeting utility or a member of Gambit on every corner. Here's the drone as well. They are reading this. Asuna with the spike towards a long, but the rest of 100 Woo. Thieves working their way in for tree. So the flash was there. Nitro was able to good get one, though. The darts just giving so much away. They know everyone's there. Yeah. And there might just be enough attention drawn Beautiful. this way. But no, Redgar cleaning things up. Chronicle drops. But that's really it, right? Three still up for Gambit. And this is, we, we mentioned, this may get out of hand. Riv, 100 Thieves, now they have rifles again, but man, they're already staring up a, a pretty significant deficit. And it's kind of absurd how many reps Gambit has on their maps, the yeah. tournaments they play in. 24 plays since April 1st on Ascent, 22 and 2. That's kind of ridiculous. That's You're looking good. at 11 and 3 for 100 Thieves there. So the reps you have on this, the things you've seen, the things you're able to change and do have so much more variety to them. And we're seeing that is even on the defensive side. Sean said it'd be tough for 100 Thieves to kind of push forward with that KO. And we're seeing a bit of that struggle now. Yeah, no, I think you're absolutely right, Sean. As well, Nitro getting tagged up there. The shot from the Marshal through the smoke makes him a bit worse for wear. Yeah, he's going to get healed up at the hands of Ethan, but now doesn't have any armor to work with. So, mm -hmm. like, Riv, Gambit already at 10. They're still riding a bonus, right? Like, they're still riding <laughs> the money train from the half. 100 Thieves are running out of windows to make this a competitive map very quickly. For sure. The Econ won't be around very much longer, and Gambit will be able to just strangle out the last few rounds here. A little fake by Nitro as they play with the mid smoke. Still gaining ground, but almost not in position to make trades off of each other. That's the rotation. That's why they're separating to go towards B now in a 2 3 split. If Steel can find somebody on the flank. Yeah, that's eye candy, though. Right? Like that, that's that's what I like to call trickeration, right? Steel drawing a little bit of attention towards A because the rest of the hit is going to be a mid B split, right? Look at how far up Nitro is. They're leaning towards B. The spike is still over there. The thing is, with 30 seconds left, I mean, maybe you can left. flip it, but actually, yeah, they're going right back. Look at it's, a, it's a double pump fake, baby. And they're that, going back towards A. They're going to get repinched in. The cam's in A. They still have stars to slow down what 100 Thieves would want to do getting in. This flank's going to be huge, Doug. The time oh, in. Shadow's good for two. Not able to get three. Ethan cleans him up, and now you've only got 10 seconds left. This is going to be a scurry to get the spike down on the site. Asuna trying to get it down, and he does. A 3v4 in favor of Gambit. Nats gets Beautiful. cleaned up at the hands of Ethan. Remember, this is still a bonus, man. This is this is so labored for 100 Thieves. The Seekers is going to get some space, but with the wall there. Knock, I knock. Mean, yeah, what do you, what do you got? Lokes, the Seekers wear out. Door's not broken just yet. 100 Thieves trying to make this a tactical D, and Gambit's about to hit every point at once. Wall pops out. Ethan gets to bait his Defo, tries to swing over, and he gets cleaned up. Defo's able to get one oh on to steal, and Gambit word. take another one. Instantaneous attack on the site. 100 Thieves even had extra work to do there. They got in. They had to actually retreat out of the site. We saw Ethan taking back a main control. They had a great setup, but Doug, it did not matter. Brute force coming in from Gambit. Instant attack from all points. And this flank is so big because without seeing the Sentinels we usually see, you have to check every angle you haven't been in for the past 15 seconds. Right. Their top A was not checked, mm -hmm. and it was the bane of 100 Thieves round. Yep, absolutely right. Gambit has just put up one hell of a performance uh, in this opening map. You see 100 Thieves is taking a timeout. Um, here in the second half, a huge uh, deficit. I mean, six rounds, and again, we take a look at economy, right? Just very briefly, Redgar sitting on 6,800 credits, my man. Like, he, he can buy for everyone for yeah. a couple of rounds. He's going to be dishing it out <laughs> left and right, buying rounds for everyone, and he's going to be everyone's favorite guy. I mean, he's the in-game leader. He's like, look for me for anything <laughs> you want. I'll be able to give it to you. And that's it's pretty cool uh, as we talk about Redgar because smokers allow him to be the controller but also control the team. Yeah. He has a lot of experience in FPSs. The guy is more than happy to go out and frag, but in that position of in-game leader, being able to oversee the map with smokes, control the angles your teammate is going to see as well. It gives Redgar 
have such great control over what the team is going to be looking at when they get into the site. If you know you don't have to be watching a certain angle, you're absolutely maximizing your chances for that first confident shot to be a, a headshot or just on your side. Yeah, Riven, I think to your point, speaking of Redgar, like we talk about how well he's read the map. Right yeah. in the first half, in the there second right half as well. The yeah, IGL for Gambit has just been calling so well on this map. You can tell 100 Thieves, like, every time they think they have a window or they can throw a little wrinkle into their plans, it's it's just sniffed out. It yeah. seems like Gambit know about what's going to happen to... 20, 30 seconds before it actually does. And we heard him coming into this tournament. You know, they have one idea. We have to win. And and when asked, you know, is it for you, everybody? They go, we win for ourselves. And we win for our fans, and then we win for the world, but we win for ourselves. Yep. And everybody's on board with that there, and they are playing as one hell of a team right now on their first map of Ascent here. As getting to the playoffs, they know this one means a lot. Defo with the op. Flash not gonna land, but my goodness, that shot is consistent. Ethan gets cleaned up. You hear the Hunter Fury coming out as well. Not gonna, okay, so he was able to get Redgar. But that seems to be it. Defo not able to land the oh shot dear. up close and personal. But Shados was a little friendly help from the teammate there, bailing him out of a brutal situation. Wow. But Shados, my goodness, the guy is automatic. He's so damn good. They would say it's not Nats, it's Shados. If it's not Defo, it's one of them. Nats now coming up with his frag, making that one tough for Nitro as they would have double peaked him anyways. 12 to 5. Gambit put it on game point here Nats for Ascent. We'll see if they can take it tried and true right on through here. This second half has just been, as you know, Shaz even said, wiping the floor. It seems like they're getting a pretty good clean out of it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. Shaz hit the nail on the head, right? Like, this hasn't been close, mm -hmm. right? And like statistically, as you mentioned, 24 reps on Ascent. Yeah, they're going to feel pretty confident, uh, confident on it if you're if you're yeah. it. But it's not like this is a bad map for 100 Thieves. That's absolutely true. 100 Thieves definitely have a good control over, I think, what is A in their B, D, A attack, and I should say B defense, as they would swap sides there. Shado still getting pressure to zero point hitting him as he goes no out. That's going to be the command down as well, and Steel just gets dropped. Dude, they can't get in. Like, you shall not pass. That's exactly what Gambit are calling out right now. There's been no window oh my for them word. to work an absolutely dominant performance out of Gambit. They smack 100 Thieves around for 16 rounds or 18, whatever the heck it was. <laughs> they just, it was just brutal. They felt good. When we, I spoke to Redgar a little bit early, and he's like, I am ready to play. I'm already ready to play. Let's go. Let's get in game. He even wanted the earlier series to just be faster so they could get to play. He is <laughs> geared up and ready to go. We're again seeing it from the rest of the team there. And 100 Thieves, I, I felt like they were on a one-track mind. A, 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 and just hitting that wall. Yep. They, the yep. few times they went B, it was, a, it was scattered around, and they had some mid-takers, but maybe they didn't feel like they right. had that mid-control. Maybe the, a bit of that KO just a Aggression wasn't a lot, or non-aggression wasn't allowing them into something like B, but that was a different match than I would have thought with the first half going punch for punch. Gambit got on their defensive side and ran away with it. And they showed why, like, they showed that the numbers don't lie, right? Like, stats Absolutely. tell the story, and the story is they're pretty freaking good. That was gross, Defo. <laughs> when it comes to defense on ascent, and you see why, and I think that the thing is that even in that map, you saw it in the last round, right? Like, 100 Thieves dialed up something different. Right, they, play, they played off of the no command. They tried going in aggressive, but the defensive setup that Gambit had, the gravity wall holding things down from wine, the oh fact that word. there was just really nowhere to go was just so impressive. I think Ashton Redgar played out of his mind, and it, it, it may not necessarily reflect in the stats, although he did go 19 and 9. But he played the map. He read the map. His use of Astra utility was just beautiful from top to bottom. It really was. He loves we expect Icebox. The yeah, but can we expect the same when Shados is on the other side? I'm not sure. I think knowing that uh, Gambit's going to be either playing it patient or running straight through, Asuna has to figure out what that's going to be at first because yeah. I feel like they'll just set up a crossfire for him to run straight through. Well, and they say thank you very much. I mean, look at the startup early off already, right? Like, Asuna's not anywhere near there. They're just playing a bit off of A. They've got heavy util, and that's exactly where Gambit is right. heading. Meanwhile, 100 Thieves are already taking some space away down long. You see Ethan has worked his way up. You've got Nitro and uh, Asuna who are going to be doing the same. They've got a pinch. The problem is, look at Nats. Waiting. No shot. One, deep. two. Oh, the Asuna with the look almost gets taken down. They're going to try to get him with three. That is going to be one. Gambit but they're pulling back. back. They're pulling back. They're pulling back. 
It's just gonna be a dog complete oh slugfest back on the site. 100 Thieves were able to trade out a couple. Austin is already good for two. Looking to land the third. No. Chronicle cleans that back up. Ethan's gonna fall as well. Go. Members of 100 Thieves continue to fall. A 2v2 here as the spike is huddled back in their side. And after 40 seconds of chaos, 45 seconds of chaos, all right, let's go back to our respective halves. Let's slow down yeah. and let's start over. I think with that dart, they realize 100 the Thieves has reset a bit on the defensive side. You mentioned it, Gambit on attack. They're going to be on attack for every map they hit. They want to keep the momentum going off the start. And we got our answer for whether Asuna wanted to push or not. It was a yes. Both teams got hot and heavy real quick. And now the plant going down B for Gambit. 30 seconds left. Chronicle. Planted. All right, so the spike is down. Dart cleared out. Oh, does ping. Oh, yeah, it did. You're right. So it did tag onto Chronicle. They have a decent idea of where he is, but they don't know where Defo is. They know he's close because Chronicle did not look up to kill that on his ping. There's not start. enough. Oh, Defo. Ooh. Eco gets messed up as well. Gambit win the pistol again. An excellent start for the number one seed of EMEA. Defo is just crosshair placement, accuracy, nerves of steel. Yeah. All just so good. It did not look like he was even put out in that situation. He wanted more. And here, Asuna does try to spice things up in the beginning with that triple push from B of Nitro and another teammate as well, but just not even giving 100 Thieves a chance to look around the corner. My word. Yeah, and I think the interesting thing is, again, we talked about the fight for A. 100 Thieves didn't do that. They were in B, but Gambit were kind of expecting it because they left Nats back in spawn to sniff it out. So it was like, who's going to get the upper hand on who in the previous round? But for 100 Thieves now, they're not going to be buying up. Asuna having that ghost is one exception. Heavy lean towards B from Gambit here as they work towards long. Alt points being favored toward Redgar, making sure reses can come up sooner than later. The Viper Wall is pretty much the only utility used up here for the moment. And they're getting themselves into position right now. A few smokes just behind that. And it's going to be 100 Thieves trying on the retake. Nitro playing tight. Wall goes down Defo again. Back behind Yellow. You see Chronicle has already looped all the way around, making sure there's no yep. plank coming in, and that's exactly where Austin is going. So keep a keep a second eye or a third eye, if you will, on the mini-map to see how that plays out while the fight continues on the site. Spike continuing to tick away. Oh, Redgar. Redgar working his way forward. Oh, yep, right into Ethan's lap. Cleans oh. him up, and oh, Nitro. Nitro through the wall. I don't know that he saw where he was. Shados taking care of Hiko Nats, pushing his way forward. Just two members remaining on the side of 100 Thieves as the numbers heavily go that way. There's that third eye that shows up at just the right time as Nats cleans up the final kill for Gambit. They win the second round. What a chaotic little back and forth. Just simple utility used did not allow 100 Thieves to get any angles. Also, they were trying to play the dip and dodge to get their mm -hmm. classics in the, into play. But three kills across the board for quite a few members of Gambit. Look at the stack on those alt orbs that could be coming up soon. 100 Thieves a little behind on that, and alt orbs can definitely secure and change the game on some rounds. Just the third run coming in here, though. The bonus coming in for Gambit, and now it's going to be Vandals and here. Uh, Phantoms for 100 Thieves. And I'm really curious to see what they dial up because this has the potential to be a back-breaking round, right? Mm -hmm. Like you flip economy on its head if Gambit are somehow able to win the pit, uh, win the bonus. Absolutely. Really throw 100 Thieves for Tizzy. Already slowly crouching, crouching through mid is Nats. This I'm, I'm, such good positioning already. Hiko doesn't even know. He thinks, oh, that's safe. They could not have timed that just yet. And that's how much Gambit is in their head. Asuna, Asuna, Asuna's right behind him. Asuna's right behind him. And Nats is for Asuna, though. Asuna, there it is. Oh. oh, my gosh. Asuna almost, almost doesn't land the shots, but he cleans up Nats. Meanwhile, on A, the spike is down. Viper's wall, not going to be a factor, as Nats did get cleaned up. 100 Thieves looking to attempt the retake. Quick one for one. Everybody coming from the same side here. Looks like it's actually going to be three on the top side dropping off of this catwalk, dog. They're going to try to just smother what's going down underneath. You're expecting one, but here comes the cavalry. Steel up top. Austin is already good for it. Redgar. Redgar. No, Redgar. Not like this with all this info. The weapon Whoa, upgraded. He's good right for one. Okay, he does get cleaned oh. up. Nitro gets the kill and the defuse. That was dicey for a moment, but they get away with it. But Riv, Riv I will say this from Gambit. What's the storyline for them on attack? Slow, steady, default, yep. right? Feel things out. They just dialed up something hot and heavy for for really probably the first time we've seen all series. And this is a much closer game in statistics across it. Not in plays. Again, Gambit having 25 recent plays on Icebox. Two. 
100 Thieves 15, which is still pretty good, but knowing what they can do, knowing if they have to match or change up their pace to get through 100 Thieves is something they've already shown is not a problem. Mm -hmm. Defo. Jump. Yeah, Defo getting up top early on. Looking to make a bit of noise towards long. The drone going to serve as the tip of the spear as Defo looks to take some space away. Asuna. Somebody clear it for him. Oh! Absolutely unfortunate. Definitely should be. If there was enough there to clear it, 100 Thieves just getting hit up on these little trick plays. Coming in from Gambit. Now they have a bit of control. They know 100 Thieves is going to be spreading out the map right now. Mm -hmm. and Gambit can do whatever they need to. Spike's still in mid. Right, and this is Gambit. Like, this is vintage Gambit, right? Death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. We're going to cut you on one side of the map. Gonna cut you on the other. We're yeah. gonna apply oh pressure, right? Like you understand now, Defo's still on B, so you can lean that way. But middle of the map is not an option as they're all working their way towards that. Nitro's in a spot where it is a chance to make the play happen, but no. When you're when you swing around the corner and you're looking at three members of Gambit, what do you got? Hiko, Hiko. That's all he's gonna get. He gets two. Nats cleans him up. Gambit win another rev. A good quick cleanup. And again, we look at Defo in that position, right? He got the first kill. But for him to stay there that long, you ask why. It's because there was no time for Asuna to have shot that dart. So somebody else did in sight, and he was trying to find that person. Absolutely was able to target out Steel, just really playing a smart game from the side of Gambit. Hiko doing his damnedest here to clean it up. Always good for a clutch, but Gambit says, not this time. We're not going to allow that mm -hmm. to happen. Not this time indeed. 100 Thieves back on pistols with how many rounds have gone the way of Gambit. 100 Thieves really haven't been able to get out of gates, whoop, whoop. Uh, if you will. Shit us. Second time's a charm, or so they say. <laughs> but, I mean, again, Gambit, slow, quiet. See what they can get. 100 Thieves trying to creep up. Maybe if they catch any audio on the catwalk, or belt here, rather, coming up. They did hear the vandal, so it looks like Asuna was looking to get a quick classic to the face of someone, but... Gamma says, no, we're happy on our line of scrimmage right now. What are you going to do, 100 Thieves? Here's the drone from Hiko. So now they know. They'll hear this drone back towards A. They've got a little bit more utility out. They can move forward a bit safer as you see him moving in. Steal a couple of warning shots. Make them think twice. All about where they want to play. Yep. And you're, you're right, Riv. They're all pulling off. They're all going to be... They get the early info that there's nobody towards A, right? Asuna took some space away. The drone was there as the tip of the spear. They get info that there's no one towards A, and then they pull off. And you, you see now they're like, what, guys, I think we, we've we got to pull back. That's exactly where Gambit are. They've gotten into the site. And the thing that's going to be even more difficult here is you've got nothing but pistols, right? You have to take these fights up close and personal, or else you're going to be in a brutal spot. You see Ethan tries to go up top, grab some high ground, but no, it's Depo who gets even higher. Nitro's able to clean one up. But how much more does he have in the tank? Knockdart's going to push him back. Shados is going to push him down six feet under as Nitro drops Gambit get to four. All right, this uh, is going to start getting a little troublesome. Yes, we have 100 Thieves back on a gun round, but if it is just Gambit continuously bankrolling these rounds here, 100 Thieves is always going to be looking at a buy eco, buy eco. And if they do win a round and get knocked back down, it's almost worse for your money. So they have to be very careful how they use the ultimates here, how they proceed. And I don't know if it's possible right now to figure out how to get to Gambit because they're so patient that they're not setting a precedent with either or any round. They could be at B and 20 seconds later, everyone's at A. Early Viper's Pit used from Nitro. All right, a little control, a yep. little control. Little control. And they have the alarm bot in there as well. So even if somebody tries to boldly sneak their way through that, the alarm bot pops that up, Defo. Looking to work the middle of the map, though he goes just on the other side. And it's Ethan pushing forward, but they've got another sniffer. Chronicle sniffing things out. Ethan can't get in. And Nats is already healed. They push through where they know they could find early aggression. Hiko's been peeking. Redgar's there to heal. Just the setups they have. You already had Defo up top. Good information, though, from 100 Thieves. They need every bit of info. They can get wall over for the drone. You in living in his head. Oh, my word. Hiko cleaned up. Middle of the map. And not that they had really control to begin with, but if there was any semblance of control, it's long gone uh, at this point. As you see, members of Gambit are now going to rotate back over towards A, but Asuna 
looking to play spoiler a bit. He can certainly cause some damage. We need if you're if you're a fan of Hunter Thieves, you need Asuna to get online. That's the timing was beautiful. Yeah. As Ethan gets caught. Nitro here is at least two footsteps. Left. He can easily make that call, and maybe even a third one trickled in there for himself. He could decipher it. As Asuna starts to back off, and this is what I just said about Gambit. They're at one site. A few seconds later, they're planting at the opposite. Yeah, they're good. They're gonna they're gonna cut it close this time, but I guess it wouldn't Ten be Gambit left. if that wasn't the case. <laughs> Asuna? Good Whoa. for it though, not even Whoa. getting the user. Defo's going in aggressive. Asuna. Asuna shuts him down. He's good for three. Spike did go down, however. You've got the Empress. But you've got, I mean, you, you've got to get an orb here, right? Like, you, you've got to get a soul orb to get back into a better position. Viper's wall goes up. The swing is there. Chronicle cleans him up. Nitro left in the 1v2. Chronicle's down to 18 health. Nats is weak as well. There's certainly time to do this. So oh, Nitro's getting pinched in. Down to 27 health. Nats knows exactly where he is. Spike continuing to tick. Nitro's going to have to bust the move here, man. But they're drawing his attention away from both sides. Wow. There's no way to focus on anything. Nitro tried to tap at the end there, but there was nothing doing Gambit get to five. It does seem like they have an answer, too, for each situation where it's going three to four. And wait, we lost a lot. Don't peek. I'm rotating around. We cause a back distract. The yeah. timing was yeah. perfect there. If he had started diffusing, you're wondering, wait, what? But this as well, yeah. the patience to be in mid. It's not the first time they've been able to just creep their way up mid. We saw them doing it before. Asuna able to pick up the kills, but it's a it, they change. Gambit changes what they're doing after that push. This time mm -hmm. we wall over. Next mm -hmm. time it could be something completely different. Hundred thieves back on a on a. Very light buy here, just pistols. As Gambit just seemed to, to have their number, what do, what do 100 Thieves dial up, right? Like, he, what else can you do? You've got to show them different looks Careful. because what they've shown so far is just not working. Nice little flip of the obs there to see what Nitro, or Ethan rather, can actually see on the screen. Yeah, it doesn't look like he'll get a peek either. It's just how intense these moments are. You gotta hit the sheriff shot. You're hoping for the first one. What's your backup after this, right? Mm -hmm. You're you're just trying to stay alive and kind of hunker down. Here it looks like he will try to push forward, and he's gonna be met with the welcoming committee real quick. There's Redgar. The wall goes down to like they drop the wall to be for him to be able to swing, right? Yep. Like Nitro looking to get the timing on that, but there are just too many angles for him to cover. Asuna looking to take space away, and Shados was wise to it, right? Working his way around, making something happen as well towards A. And again, this isn't exactly an ideal buy for 100 Thieves, but they just haven't found any space. This has been I mean, very reminiscent of what we've seen for the entire half. 30 seconds Darts left. out. They'll be counting that. A spell 30 seconds left in the round. Hiko may not be able to fire another one of those out if it ends in kills. Spike down will give him that utility once again. Shados, Indiana Jones on the way over. First shots coming in from the 410. And it looks like they'll be able to hunker on this one. Defo goes down, finds Hiko. And even from their positions of safety, they're getting taken down before even entering the site. Gambit moves forward and takes what they want right now. Six to one. Moving into the round seven on Icebox. Or eight, rather. Prime gaming flawless coming out from Gambit, and that's exactly what's yeah. going to cause the timeout. You give give 100 Thieves uh, this moment just, just some time to, again, try to recollect themselves. And I think the difficult thing for 100 Thieves is they just look lost, right? Like, they haven't been able to get footing. They haven't been able to get anything going. It, it, it seemed like a bit of a struggle on Ascent. Seems to continue here on Ascent. Or, excuse me, on Icebox. And, and Riv, again... Statistically, this is Gambit's worst half, right? Like, they by, get by a better bit of percentage, in the but yeah, half. it is true. It is true. What a showing from Gambit right now. We are getting the timeout as 100 Thieves continues to talk. We can see the coach there sitting behind them. I absolutely love that, that the coach integrated into mm -hmm. the atmosphere, into the field. He can mm -hmm. see, you know, which player is kind of happy, jeering, what's going on in the situation. As well, Gambit taking this time to discuss how they've been playing. And honestly, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Holy moly. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You're absolutely right. And like, there's just so much onus right now on 100 Thieves it's true. To, to change something, make something happen. I think, you know, a, a performance like this may be expected uh, against a smaller region, but here, if you're 100 Thieves, you've got the pedigree, you've got the, the resume, you've that's, got everything that's there. That's what they bring to the table. Right, exactly. 100 Thieves have yep. the experience, Doug. 
Yep, it's just been very impressive from Gambit up until this point. If you're 100 Thieves, you've, you've got to dial up something different here. And we're, and we're seeing some of it, right? The drone, tip of the spear. Uh, Asuna is going to be able to take space away. Ethan's going to be able to take space away across mid as well. And that's a big opening kill. We haven't been able, we haven't seen that very much out of Ethan. Natch drops first. Three ultimates on both sides. There's the Empress coming out. We'll see if they can make this work. Nitro just misses the wall and he will be taken down by Shadows, traded by Asuna. Punished. Punisher is coming up from Hiko. Oh my goodness, that's a ton of info, but he's going to be able to get any kills off of it. Asuna is. It causes enough havoc. Right back towards uh, Yellow Box, and it's enough to get him a kill. A couple of years dropping out, they know where he is. The Empress is online. As Asuna working things around, he's good for it. Shados running for the fences, but no, it's actually Shados who's able to get one of his own. Ooh. A little dueling Empress is here. Shados stays alive. Still has the leader, doesn't have the spike. One way is giving him some trouble. Yeah, and it, the, I guess the benefit is that there is no flank, right? There is no pitch. Everything is in front of him. He gets one. Uh oh. Shados. Shados, oh. good for two. He's already got four. Is he going to get another A? Six bullets. He's going to have to reload. 30 seconds left. Hiko. Dancing around. Hiko's been so good historically in these moments. But when you've got Shados who's doing things like this, 22 seconds left. Hiko's dark gives up that position. Shados! Shados not able to land the shots. Hiko, I mean, a lifeline. They're, they're living on nothing. And 100 Thieves able to win the round. He did ask for help from some higher power there for just a moment. Pull back out those clutches that he can do because that was going to be Shados' round. Absolutely incredible positioning, ability to create 1v1s, snap to the top, another. And he's just not having any trouble with these. Just even peeking the off too. Absolutely brazen. <sighs> Desperately needed round there from 100 Thieves. Right, get get that one. There, you've got Steel with the lockdown online. The thing is, you've got three ultimates on the side of Gambit as well, and they're, they're significant ultimates, right? The Viper's Pit. <laughs> and then, if those three ultimates are not enough, well, then you've got Defo uh, as well on the side of Gambit, and he's just continuing to pile it on. Can't wait to look at the first blood stats coming in here. It's, it seems like 100 Thieves is always working a member down so fast no into the round again through mid. Time and time again. Gambit just waltzes up mid. While Ethan's trying to push forward, he's going to get cleaned up. Nitro is now working his way up mid alongside Steel, but it may be a bit too late. The one benefit is that the spike isn't even on the site, right? Yeah. They're going to have to pull back. They're going to have to rotate their way all the way back up towards A. That should buy Nitro and Steel a little bit of time, potentially drop the lockdown. But the thing is, with how much time is left on the round, with the noise that's cut, big maybe swing out. But all right, Chronicle getting the spike down. Spike and Nat's already in position, too. Mm -hmm. Just fire in some Viper Bites from there, even oh, if the site back. does get dropped eventually. Oh, He's actually going to rotate all the way around. You got to be kidding me. They don't stop in rounds. They plant, and they're like, what else can we do to make this tougher instead of just sit in one spot? Gambit, always thinking, always moving. For 100 Thieves here. In this, in this 2v5, right? Like, make sure you don't not go for it, and it seems to be working. Of course, as I say that, Nitro drops the steals left there alone, and Nats, you called the flank just a couple of seconds ago. It comes to fruition. The play delay is just long enough for him to get into an advantageous position. Yeah. Gambit up to 700 Thieves still lost on footing. And I love that movement by Nats, because you have to assume that with 100 Thieves seeing two members of Gambit walk up mid and take down Hiko, they're going to leave flank protection there. So it does take a little extra time to go all the way around, but he ensures that he's not going to give himself up too early. He's not just going to get taken out by 100 Thieves. Great play, great flank. 7-2 to two as we head to round 10. Yeah, 100 Thieves is grabbing these rounds, but Gambit says, no, we'll take that right back. I look at the coach. Right? Just like... Stressful. Yep. All right. Gambit dialing up hot and heavy towards A. No look, no mid lurk, no flank, no Asuna. As Depo again gets opening pick, right? Ethan's already super weak as well. He's going to drop. Everybody got in on the action there. As you see, two people got an assist. The Shade House got the finishing blow. And now he gets advantageous, aggressive position up across site. Defo gets a second one as well. Again, this isn't, this isn't a, a, a gun round for 100 Thieves, but Riv. There hasn't been much of a difference between the gun rounds and the pistols, to be honest. You're not wrong, Doug. You are not wrong at this point. Gambit putting on the Icebox Defense Clinic right now. Chronicle going to finish out Hiko on that one. And it's comfortability plays that they get the, or comfort plays, rather, that they get these positions. We've seen Defo on that Jenny right side 
multiple times taken down Hiko. Nobody's allowed to come upstairs. 100 Thieves is having a hard time encroaching the, or getting to the sites that Gambit is taking over. And it's absolutely absurd. It's awesome to see from Gambit. And they are having a hell of a time here. Look at that bankroll. 8,200 for Nats. 4,800, 60, uh, 100 Thieves might have to ask for a loan soon. And while Gambit are like full on invested 401k, they're going to be all right for a little while. Their retirement paid for. 100 Thieves are in serious trouble here. 8-2. And again, a heavy look, a more aggressive than is usual, than is customary uh, out of Gambit. But 100 Thieves, at least for the time being, have been a bit more stalwart in their defense. They're able to get a shot. Kick onto Nats. They're going to get the Viper's Pit down as well. Excellent start. That's the pop shots that they need on the side. 100 you Thieves, the quick peeks, getting Asuna mother. into the fray. It seems like they've all been a little too timid to take these shots because wow. that Shados having the confidence to make sure that first shot is a headshot. And in its little split-second moments like that, right, we're talking about a 5v3, the res comes, the kill's traded, all of a sudden that advantage that you haven't been able to come across very often is gone. I was looking for a drone. Drone's down. Or the drone is still up for now. If he decides to use it, looks like that might be the play towards mid. He goes waiting on it, but Chronicle takes down Steel. And 100 Thieves isn't even convinced that this is going to be the A hit. They're still decently spread out. Anchor on B, Hiko mid, Anchor A, and Hiko gets dropped by Regar. He was mid. And the thing is, you're right, they, they weren't convinced that it's a hit A, and for good reason. Right? Like, the thing is, it's almost like 100 Thieves know that you can't trust the first no. pump fake. Or the second. Or the second, or the third. <laughs> and, and at that moment, right, like Gambit are so far in that you think you got to wait till the third pump fake. Right. They drop the Hail Mary on the first, and all of a sudden, like, Crap. Nitro. Are you got it? Oof. Standing. It's tough when you're getting the family photo from Gambit as you turn the corner. They're all looking right at you. And now it's going to be up to Nitro. Alti's about to pop down on the other side, and he will do what he can for the 3v1. This always becomes so tough because you know, as alone in retaking B, them, their ability to just pop out from the corner and jiggle yeah. peek is, is so good. Yeah, it's, it's so good. It's, it's pretty brutal. And then, I mean, they have long control, right? Like. Nitro's just guessing uh, at this point. He's going to have to clear every single 50, and even then, is he even going to have enough time? Given given 100 Thieves' economy situation right, right now, makes down. sense. Just, just go ahead and save. See if you can carry that weapon into the next round. While Gambit doesn't necessarily look like they're going hunting, oh but dear. if things play out just right, Shados might get a shot. They can't even carry a rifle into the next round. That's how down bad they are right It gets now. really tough. That save there. And you can see he was saving, but instantly how quickly he thought, I'm getting flanked by somebody. It's right. been way too long. Right. Gambit always on the flank. You can always and expect down. that. Another round in favor of Gambit, and we're looking at your final round of the first half here on our second map. Nine to two as Gambit are just feeling great with the start of this one, carrying the momentum of being that first and, and really locking in the playoffs in true fashion. See if they can do it. All right, Blade Storm out of tempo. Gave him a little something to think about. All right, that, blade, that blade going right by his head. Not landing the shot, but certainly enough to force him back. Drone, or Dart, excuse me, is gonna Ooh, be cleared as well, but taggy. did a tag, yeah. Okay, we haven't got to see too much of the lockdown being used to deter a sight take here. But yeah, I mean, that hunter's And we here. won't. Right. I sat on it. I think that was the first one we saw all, all half, right? <laughs> he didn't get an opportunity to use it very much at all, and then it gets countered right off the bat by Chronicle. So that's not online, but you still have Nats with his ult. You still got Defo's Blade Storm, which has been pretty good <laughs> historically. And for 100 Thieves, all you have left is the From the Shadows. Defo going in aggressive. What? They strike at an instant, but Asuna and Ethan are keeping things close. Defo equalizing things back to a 2v2. He goes walled off. He doesn't have any U to left right now. He's only rocking a Guardian. Nitro only has a Spectre. And Chronicle gets a spike down. Walling off Snowman. You just see Defo jump through his little lane that he had protected by the Viper Wall, able to take on Asuna. Hiko, though, with the Guardian. And Nitro coming in with a fan or a Spectre. Can they make it happen? Chronicle, yeah, he's gonna get cleaned up. You asked if they could make it happen. They can. Nitro gets the last one. So for for Gambit, they get a 9-3 half on their on their weaker half. Yeah. Uh, on that's Icebox. True. An excellent start for them. Hundred Thieves 
you know, possibly find better footing the second time around because, or in the second half, because I will say this, while we've talked a lot about Gambit and how better they are in the second half, for, for 100 Thieves, the gap's not huge, right? right? Like, they're statistically, they're pretty freaking good on both sides, uh, although it didn't look that way in the first half of that match. Uh, a new side can always bring a different mentality. Hopefully 100 Thieves can shake this off because right now it does seem like nerves are behind the shots that they're trying to take. Uh, again, I want to see the first blood stats for Gambit because yeah. it just seems like they are locked on and each kill creates so much agency for them because 100 Thieves knows the next shot's going to be harder. Next shot and it's just been that way the whole game. Yeah, Defo was on one. We'll see if he's going to be able to continue that yeah. in the second half. We're going to throw it down to our friend Sean Escaris Garris to break down what he saw in the first half. Yes, indeed, Doug. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys why Gambit is so good on Icebox right now against 100 Thieves. I mean, it's like I'm about to break down a nightmare because they are just destroying my NA brethren. But five bucks is five bucks, right, guys? So we have the Viper Wall going across B like that for the plant. And let's, let's play for a little bit right now. Play for a couple seconds. And what you're going to see is Steel and Asuna are going to set up this bait setup over here at B. So let's pause real quick. So what you're going to see right here, if we zoom in, let's see, we can zoom in down here at B. You can see the drone actually flying through right there. There's a Leer from the Reina Throne. But the real thing to look out for here is this setup that Steel has created for Asuna. And he puts a lot of faith in Asuna by doing this. There's an alarm bot and a molly there. So the alarm bot would trigger if anyone pushes yellow crate and then still could pop the Molotov and protect him, right? There's not many opportunities to take him out. How does Gambit deal with this? So let's play for a little bit longer here. In addition to that, you can see the Viper Smoke mid that we keep talking about. So they're following the drone up. They're following the drone up. The Sova comes. He meets up with the Jet and the Reyna. And you can see he's lining up an arrow. So let's pause it now. Okay, so the arrow lands in the middle of the open. This is the most random Sova arrow ever. But what it does is it gets back yellow. It gets over here. And it gets side sight. All of the places that they can aggressively get peeked from. This is a brilliant arrow to throw on the fly. And no one will be ready to break it. So let's play. This arrow gets a ping off on Asuna. That opens up this first pick. And you can see right away, right away, the Reyna is going back to mid to meet up with the Sage. Defo has taken some extra ground. Being that he's in a jet roll, he can dash away at any moment. And here you have Nat locking down this A lurk position to make sure you know, 100 Thief stays true to A and doesn't over-rotate or flank. So now the split is on. They've left Defo over here at B, and he's managed to find a pick onto Steel. So let's pause one more. And you can see the Sage has walled across mid inside of Nats' smoke, and they have sent three players up the tube. And this is this would have been like a not not too viable of a strat because of Steel's turret, but when Defo finds that pick, it everything can speed up. Everything is opened. So let's split, play it through and just see how absolutely screwed 100 Thieves is. You can see it on the map. So it, there's actually a great omen blind that comes through that catches them, but it, it does nothing because they're in all of these close range spots. They just clean up the kills, three players alive, and honestly, there probably should have been all five. They dominated every single aspect of this round, and it just, it's so impressive to watch a team be so methodical. All right, back to you guys, Rug. Methodical, impressive indeed, but there are two sides to every coin. And for Gambit, while it's been beautiful up until this point, they're going to have to finish the job. They're going to have to complete yeah. the heist. 100 Thieves, they've looked lost. They've looked discombobulated. They haven't been able to get much going. And Gambit have had their number the entire way. But can they change the tide? I'm not sure. I feel like Gambit right here is going to be in 100 Thieves' face for the first attacking round. They're going to say, hey, how you doing? Remember us? That was just halftime. We are still very much here. They just seem to be on a different level right now. I don't know what they ate this morning. We'll find out for you later. But Gambit is definitely showing some pedigree here uh, and what they have it, just as a team, right? The organization itself is a super long-running organization in that region. And then always having these top tier teams that they can bring to the table. And it looks like this uh, five, uh, these five guys can do the same. So no early aggression from yep. really A or, or long. We, it looks like they were postured in a position where they might push it a bit, but nothing doing. A bit of a trade uh, in utility towards long. 
but 100 Thieves turned their attention over towards A. For good reason, we saw them execute very well on this side against Savant Liberty, but as we've discussed, this is a, a bit of a different beast uh, that you're facing. Devil's gonna get pushed off, Shados is not, as he cleans up Asuna, and the thing is, Riv, that's in pistols, yeah. that's their win condition, right? It's Asuna, it it's rain of popping off, it's making making chaos happen, not a factor this time around. Pico plans, trying to get back for the shock darts, if he can get into position for these 3v5 situation, Doug. And we see the drone come out, and all of Gambit hop into sight here. They're pushing their way through. The oh nice my thing dart! Is, yeah, that dart showed One them everything, remaining. but 100 Thieves were able to get a couple. It's just Steel, though. He's got the Sheriff. Shados has been spotted. Nope, Shados' ghost is better than the Sheriff this time around, as he's going to get the defuse as well. Not a second thought about entering the site. You saw Shados yep. hop mm -hmm. in. Two mm -hmm. coming through the Viper Wall from screens. Instant activation on their execution, and that bolt, the bolt that showed them all of 100 Thieves in the back was absolutely gorgeous. You see these final shots here, and just using the wall to line it up. There's Defo throwing out the fist bumps to Shados. 100 Thieves, at least for now, mm -hmm. opting not to force, right? You've got a couple of sheriffs, maybe a couple of ghosts, but we saw how problematic that was on Ascent, right? They rolled the die, right? They bought up a couple of uh, a couple of Spectres, excuse me, they had some util as well, and they got punished for it. This time they're going a bit lighter as they work the middle of the map. And again, no no aggressive denial of space from Gambit, I, I think. It's just a, a bit surprising. What a drone. What a drone! Sees three in the two. Chronicle's gonna wanna play with this a little bit. No, and he could farm some frags with those all points. Asuna gets the frag though, Doug. That's good for two. Defo gets one as well. The spike is down in no man's land right now. Yeah, you've got Hiko and, and, and Nitro that are both still alive, but they're not, in the, they're not even in the same zip code of the spike right now. They can't get within sniffing distance of it. He requested a livery on this one. Oh my, Nats. Uh, one after the other. He is so good at lining up two, lining up three, and making the end of the round come quicker than the opposing team would hope. And a great read by that drone as well. Not seeing anything mid right away. The orb, uh, hot poison orb coming in from Nitro, just says, hey, we want a drone towards tube, and it was such a good call. Now, if there was a moment for a comeback to start, it has to be now. It's got to be now that 100 Thieves have rifles. It, it hurt as as much, right? Like, ideally, you yep. win the round, right? Because you know Gambit's rocking uh, a bonus. Do as much damage as you possibly can. But again, like, we, we talk about windows of opportunity to get back into a map. This is one of the very few, potentially the last one that remains for 100 Thieves. Chronicle again, checking every angle towards mid, gets a quick shot up that tube as well, but he did it from mid this time. So his priority has been to check if they're in kitchen. And now it's gonna be steeled Careful. as he get himself up onto pipes here. It looks like he's just trying to play his turret activation for the time being. And Hiko really clearing a long portion of B, but he may not get too much vision of sight. Mm -mm. It's, they're using their utility just to gain ground, which means they're going to have to win the firefight in right. sight. Because there's nothing while you're in there to take the site itself. Exactly, yeah, you're exactly. absolutely right, Riv. So Redgar's actually in a really aggressive spot here, playing contact. Steel was playing contact off the off the turret, and it even triggered at the right time, but Steel just wasn't able to land the shots. Nitro finds Defo hiding up in Nest. What else can they do? Good Leer. Good Leer. And Nitro saw where he was. Saw the silhouette. Asuna swings around. Redgar's cleaned up. Nitro goes in aggressive. As he's going to be able to get the spike down as well. A 4v3 in favor of 100 Thieves. They have control of the site. Nats is going to take the long scenic route all the way around. So, I mean, if you're here, if you're Gambit, you got to push at the right time. Buy time for Nats to get there without losing your life. If you're 100 Thieves, you got to get space, right? Like, you're huddled in here. You're getting pinched around. But if you don't push out, if you don't get space, you're going to feel all of that pressure from opposite sides at the exact same time. You're not going to have anywhere to go. They're going to have to fight their way through the setup that Gambit have set up. And it's all coming off of the flank oh, from Nats. Nats here here's them. They're starting to push out. Yeah. Yes, huge kill from Ethan to clean up Nats. Now they have some room to breathe. The push is going to have to come in, but they can retreat further back. Excellent response from 100 Thieves. Excellent. That could have been rifles all over the ground on the side of 100 Thieves. Great pickup by Ethan. He needs to be commended for that round and being able to save what could have been very, very costly in the upcoming rounds here. Needed rounds as well going to the side of 100 Thieves. 
Nitro with a great spam to start off the chaos, oh which would lead 100 Thieves into the site victory. Oh, he didn't have much to shoot either. No, big shots. Huge shots out of Ethan, and you saw he got... He got pretty messed up. He was down to 21 yep. health. So yep. that kill easily could have gone either way. But now Gambit, that was their bonus. Now they're at full rifles for 100 Thieves. They lost a little bit, but not a ton. So they're still in a decent spot. Steal the one exception who's only going to be rocking that light armor. But not enough damage to really right. cause problems for 100 Thieves, at least in the previous round. Getting all that KJ util, man. You need it. It's costly. It's expensive. It's costly. Yeah. You just wear the light vest. Ah, uh, see what they got. So Shados, here's the turret, which means Steel's gonna be within range. They have a little bit of info there, but not much to work off of just yet, as 100 Thieves is gonna go ahead and try to spread the map a little bit. It, really to see if they Careful. can get Gambit off their first angles, which has been very, very hard. Right. The thing is, they're pushing into a Viper's Pit. Or Down long. All sorts or of detail, off. man. There's like, <laughs> nowhere for them to go. But they are going to push into it. You hear the drone, tip of the spear. Nats gets pushed off. That Viper's Pit's going to come down real soon. All right, so no longer a factor. Chronicle drops early on. Steel's able to get the first kill. Nitro's down to 10 health, though. He's going to have to get healed up at the hands. Oh, he was playing in and out of the Viper you tell I'm sorry. So the spike made its way down long. It's going to pull back, actually. So again, switching it. Yep. Take a little of uh, your opponent's own medicine and deliver it back to them. One site after the other. Let's see if they're going to be able to get this. They know nothing is pushed. Now the turret's activated. At least to that right corner. They'll be checking everything here. 14 seconds left. Steel is deep within the site, but he's not on catwalk. I think he wanted that. Doesn't oh, matter. Steel good for one onto Defo. That could have been problematic. You also see Redgar's going to be pushing in from the middle of the map. Redgar good for it onto Steel. He gets his. As Shados is still trying to work his way in as well. They haven't gotten past the defenses, right? Like, they're no closer to getting onto the site than they were just a couple of moments ago before those kills. Now they're going to recollect. They're going to get a bit more space to work with, but Hiko still has a shock dart. Asuna is able to clean up Redgar. Shados is all that's left. It looks like he's going to get away, save that Vandal, yeah. carry it on into the next round. So for 100 Thieves for now, they continue to avoid a loss. And that's great to see for 100 Thieves, not just that they're avoiding the loss, but that even after the use of quite a bit of that util, we saw drone going up in different locations, Waiting the round out like that has told them a little bit that Gambit will give up a little bit of agency to the site because they don't want to get overrun by a stampeding 100 Thieves that does choose to take one. So mm -hmm. maybe they read that longer the round goes, Gambit will take a few more steps back as long as 100 Thieves can keep agency at least to know nobody's come forward with things like the KJ turret and yep. drone. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, and again, another benefit for 100 Thieves here is that, given how the last couple of rounds have gone, Gambit are in a weird of a mixed buy, right? You've got a couple of Buckies, <laughs> got a Shorty, actually. It does look like it. I look at stuff like that, and, you know, the the logically, I think, oh, this should be fine, right? But he, there's just too much chaos down. that we've seen happen yeah. with those guns. It, it's like, well, I mean, maybe. And they're playing very much too the power of those guns, right. keeping it playing close, play. mm -hmm. playing a crossfire, and making sure they're bettering their chance to get a frag with this low cost, or low ply purchase. Ooh, Nats is even more ready now. Nats is so ready. Oh, so is Ethan. Yeah, Ethan able to clean up both of those. I think Gambit, both Nats and Redguard there got a little bit of the yips. A little excited, wanted to make a move happen, and they get cleaned up for it. So an excellent start here for 100 Thieves. Again, you expect this round to go their way, and so far, so good. A 5v2 in favor of 100 Thieves. They're able to get onto B, the paranoia to clear things out. Spike should go down. The two remaining members of Gambit yeah. rotate through, so he did spot Shados. And he should get a great sightline onto Defo here, and he's going to have a shorty standing. on the opposite Five side, right? Like, <laughs> well, what are you going to do? You're going to tickle him from that distance. Dash, shorty, kill, kill, dash, shorty. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, it's Defo. We don't know what's going to happen. And that's two for alt point. But it does look like with 45 seconds after that spike is planted, it, there won't be enough time to get close enough for a kill. Steel picks that one up, and it, the experience is coming into play. You know, it's the it's the ace up the sleeve for 100 Thieves that Ethan, Steel, Hiko, all of them know what this has been like, and they can just let the other members know it's calm, it's fine, keep playing your game, you're doing great, and they all build each other up. It's one of the strongest things about that team. 
it is one of their strengths and they're going to have to continue to tap into that one to that wealth of experience and that wealth of knowledge because yes they've won the last couple of rounds they've won three actually which is an excellent bit yeah. as far as momentum goes but dog they're still like they're still staring up mount everest right yeah, like yeah, this yeah. is still a big mountain that they have to climb to make this competitive to get all the way to map three ethan gaining good ground here to start where do they put the smoke it's going to somewhat block off the snowman area as Nats goes ahead, gives a little agency with that Viper Bite, but he'll wait for the team to retake this execute. 100 Thieves in B. Yeah, and you can tell Gambit has to pull off. There's no Hunter Fury to clear things out. They're going to have to give up that space and then attempt to retake. The benefit for them is that it is going to be a straight of 5v5. You hear the Viper's Pit has been used as well. Out of Nitro to continue to control that area of the map. You've got Shadoff back towards Snowman, continuing to try to apply pressure as Ethan has his hands full. Excellent paranoia there. He's going to have to drop. That's a big kill on the Shadoffs. Get him offline as Asuna looking to continue to work things, looking to continue to make things happen. Steals good for one as well. Members of Gambit oh, continue no. to drop like flies. But Ethan, oh, Ethan spotted Defo, but he's going to have to back up. It's just Defo. He's got the Blade Storm. He's in a 1v3, though. And the spike continues to tick away. I don't know that. I don't know if he's going to be able to get into this. You hear it continue to spit tick. You hear it continue to speed up. This round should go in favor of Hundred Thieves, and it was it was a great use of, of ultimate utility, right? Like, you got in, you used uh, the um, lockdown off mm -hmm. the steel to create some space. You were able to get chain a bit of that utility to allow their way in, and then an excellent hold. Nice job, Asuna, hitting his shots now. Seemed like they were getting the better of him in the first half, and now that these trades aren't so confidently going in the favor of Gambit, we're seeing 100 Thieves be able to open up a site with a little less pressure, a little less utility, and feel better about backing each other up in these situations. It seems like they also have an idea mm. that Gambit's flanks are something that's always going to be there. You, you guys see 100 Thieves looking over their shoulder uh, more often than not within this game. So a lot of adapting happening right now. And it seems like Gambit is starting to fall prey to what 100 Thieves is doing in their map spread and that movement forward to whatever site they want late in the round. Yeah, I think it's not only falling prey to that, but also starting to fall prey to the momentum that's shifting, right? Like you can feel the tides turning. You see Gambit calling a timeout here. Give them a chance to reset because four it's rounds important. in a row for 100 Thieves, right? Like, economy should heavily be their way right now. It hasn't always been easy, but they've been able to put together a couple of yeah. rounds, get something cooking. We were looking at that bankroll for Gambit. We wondered if 100 Thieves would ever be able to get their own bread. And yes, they are. Asuna, on your screen here, one of the top fraggers of North America. And he is trying to keep that going here with confident opening rounds for 100 Thieves. Hiko, Clutchmaster, on your screen. Again, we're talking about the experience these teams bring. And those members of 100 Thieves really know what every situation has been like. Nitro, right. Steel, and Hiko. We'll yep. see what they can bring this one to a victory. You're looking at two ultimates on the side, 100 Thieves. That's a Hunter's Fury. And the Omen ultimate from the Shadows. Where will they decide to go? And Redgar's ultimate and Defo's ult is up in the Bladestorm. So, and that's the thing, I think excellent to call that out because Defo's Bladestorm means that the classic, he doesn't have to buy and he can right. still cause problems. Now, Redgar is going to be uh, much worse oh, for wear, hello. no Bladestorm, as Ethan and Asuna get a couple of kills, Ethan and Asuna, excuse me, get a couple of kills early on. Asuna just down to seven health, though, but an excellent start for the Thieves. Nats gas about to go down. They usually make a play right off of this to get a quick peek in. He's getting a drone for assistance as well once his gas goes down. Look at how yep. they're simultaneously Spike using this beat. utility to keep each other protected. Wow, that was that was clean. Okay, so is he gonna Okay, he does stick it, right? Steel took all of that space A. He's able to stick the from the shadows spike onto the site, get the spike down, and now you've got the remaining members of Gambit who are gonna rotate in from middle Woo! right into Nitro's lab. Nitro gets two, yeah, Chronicle trades it out, but that's all he's gonna do is Ethan takes care of him. Hundred Thieves get to hate Riv. We talked about it. Shifting. The shots are getting, turning. Shots are getting snappier. You can see it from both sides here. It was Gambit bringing the shots to the table as Hundred Thieves starts to find that aim now. Hello, this actually scared me. I backed away. <laughs> I literally backed away from the screen. That was an interesting one right there. Asuna ready, handing out the fist bumps. We'll see if 100 Thieves can keep it going. And what's the win here, right, for Gambit? They bring out an operator here for Defo. He's going to be holding hard angles and back to the shadows for him, hiding for the last moment until you think you're safe and he takes you from a hard angle. 
Oh, wow. Match tried getting away. A great shot from Ethan to apply pressure towards B. Give them some room to work with. That's going to force the wall out of Redgar. You see it up already. But that's all they've got so far. Nobody giving a shot to Defo yet. You can see he's far back on the Jenny. Believe in A. And he's just holding that position as the rest of the team is trying to deliver all the info. No real rotation just yet. They have two kind of hovering around mid for Gambit, so they have any uh, option for a site. And Spike is picked up, hovering towards B now. Rave, you called a, a couple of rounds ago, 100 Thieves giving Gambit a bit of a taste of their own medicine, right? Like, mm -hmm. this is this is Gambit, right? Like, make yeah. some noise and then cut noise, cut noise for a long time, make them really think about where they're going to go. Don't show a single bit Take of flight. information and then late in the round, pull the trigger. Now using off utility. Utility towards A with a movement oh, towards B. Shados backs up. They get a leader out of that as well. So a few things going in the favor of 100 Thieves. But Gambit still feeling comfortable about what's going on. And they call the B exec. Oh, Chronicle goes ahead and invests the Hunter Siri to try to tag him. I mean, they were right, right? Like the Spidey senses were there. They understood where they were, but they weren't able to tag anything up. 100 Thieves managed to get onto the site as, ne as Nitro, excuse me, gets a spike down. Asuna. Ah, forget it. Dawson didn't even have to do anything. Steel was able to take care of two of his own. The Leer swings out. The shots are delivered, but Defo's op able to take care of Steel. 1v4. Make that a 1v3. And surely you don't <laughs> challenge him here. Surely not. They know where he's going, though. You see the pings actually coming out on yep. your minimap from the side of 100 Thieves. I loved the pressure from Steel coming in through Kitchen this round. 100 Thieves is trying to work off the ball now. And what? Gross. At no shot. A moment of silence. No shot. Holy. One in. One in the chamber. Who wants to peek him? Holy crap, Defo. You are something else. 11 to 9 as 100 Thieves is two rounds away. Even with play like that on the screen. You what called the plan. pressure. Yeah, you called the pressure out from Steel Trips Kitchen. It was beautiful. It was dialed up at just the right time. But, I mean, dog, that, that is pretty to watch, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Love it. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Chills, man. I just got literal goosebumps, and I had already seen it once. Oh, my God, Defo. Round 21. Gambit has been two away for quite some time. Light pie out for Gambit as well. Three sheriffs. And op in the hands of Defo. And we just saw what he can do with it. Carries it in from the next round. Early wall coming out here from Redgar right at 410 to provide a bit of a problem. As 100 Thieves look to turn their attention towards A, there's no doubt about where they're headed. You hear the Hunter Shree has come out from Eco as he tries to tag some up. But nothing doing quite yet. Yeah, he's able to clear out the back. But they try to push off of that. They try to take some of that space away. And that's exactly what Austin is trying to do. He gets back into the deepness of the site. Ethan's going to be able to get the spike down. Pull back just the tap. So see if Gambit replays this wall. They'll put the Viper wall up towards screens. Oh, actually, they're also starting to use, so they're not going to be able to get that one back in. But usually they crash through, through utility. And not this time. You already saw Hiko's all up the gut and allowed the team to get into the site. Lockdown out. Let's see what they can do. I mean, 100 Thieves are leaving nothing to chance here. They invest the Hunter Siri. They invest the lockdown. They're refusing Ooh. to give anything up. Nats was able to get one, but Defo again in a mission yeah. to save the op. And I, well, I said in the previous round, truly they don't challenge him. They, uh, here they go. <laughs> here they go. Up. Here they go again. You can see Asuna on your screen right now. He's fired he up. He's pumped. feeling good about it because let's be honest, Rip, they were dead, right? 100 Thieves were underwater, Absolutely. and they pull themselves out of this insane oh my God. deficit oh. that they were in. Insane deficit that they were in. We talked about them staring up Mount Everest. They've hiked that bad boy. They're this close to reaching the summit, but it's not done yet. Absurd stuff here from the experience of 100 Thieves. So many years of tactical FPS competition. And like I said, seeing just about every situation your rounds could be in. It's never over, and that's something that's streaming through their brains right now. Gambit looking to get that tie, or 100 Thieves looking to tie Gambit here with this round. Defo the up still in hand as he has protected that round after round. 
Viper's Pit used right off the bat from Gambit to lock down B, and they're going to push Ethan back, right? Like, look at the pressure as Nats works his way up into his Viper's Pit, pushing back Ethan. He's not really going to be able to swing around that, and this is a really difficult thing for 100 Thieves. If they want to flip back towards B, they're going to have to work their way through all of that Viper util, and that's much easier said than done. Most of the util here for Chronicle is down. He'll be waiting a few seconds for that. Drones out, down. Not meaning they didn't gain info, but has been used. They are wanting to know exactly what 100 Thieves is doing right away. A ping. On to Shados, and yeah. it looks like the backup and defensive set here for Gambit. Yeah, but I, 100 Thieves are not committed to this, right? Like, they've they've made noise, they've drawn attention, they dropped the Empress, but the spike is nowhere there. Ethan hasn't left. You see um, Nitro, yeah, Nitro, excuse me, is still playing across the middle of the map. That's not where the play is, and Nats hasn't taken the bait. Yeah, the fact that Shados just dropped Asuna, the, the going in with utility, hearing that, like, oh, they're backing up the Empress. Yep. You saw how quick the retaliation was with the wall, and for Asuna to drop, Gambit gets that info. They know they can reset. Actually feeling pretty good coming into round 22 here with that first frag on their side. Now 100 Thieves have to commit with only 20 seconds left. They don't really have very many options. Redgar Ooh. playing just around the smoke. Shados has been cleaned up. Redgar's going to get messed up as well. This Chronicle plays up top. They're all just huddled together. Yeah. We've got Nats who's working around. Nitro's able to clean that up. Back off the flank, so there's no pressure coming in from there. Additionally, Nitro's going to continue to take space away, but Shados on the res. Shados is pretty damn good. And he's back v on line. Chronicle drops. Spike continuing to tick away. Op shot goes just a bit wide. Nitro does have, or excuse me, Hiko does have a shock dart. And there it is, no longer on line. Ethan, Hiko, Hiko. to get one piece. Ethan cleans the last oh one up gosh. as well. Oh, baby, we're tied at 11. Take a look at what the Econ says coming out of this round. There are ultimates on the side of Gambit. If they want to throw down a Nats ult to secure a round or at least deter 100 Thieves from a site, they have the chance. 100 Thieves is going to call a timeout. I actually love this. Yep. You can't, you can ride too high. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that right now. As big as this is, shakes can still come into play this many rounds in, even if you felt smooth. So take a breath, do the Hiko deep breath. Make sure we clutch out the map, and that's what 100 Thieves is looking to do right now. It's not because anything is wrong, it's because it's all right. It's, uh, I mean, really, everything's in front of them here, and, you know, it, it's just been <laughs> an excellent... time. Yep, excellent adaptation from 100 Thieves, right? Like, we, we felt things were not going their way, things were looking pretty dire, right? Like, yeah. they were in dire straits for, I mean, since the beginning of the series. This is the first time we've really seen 100 Thieves with some life, with Waking some up. energy. Yeah, yeah. They're back online. They're fully online. You see it fist bumps across the board. They're feeling themselves. But you're right, Riv. You can get too high. Heck right? Like, yeah. you can ride that high a bit too much, and you find yourself in a position where you make a careless mistake. So you're right. I love that call. Slow things down. Make sure you understand what's in front of you. 100 Thieves are in a great spot to get to map point, right? Like, it's a light buy out of Gambit. Eight rounds in favor of 100 Thieves straight on this second half. That means it is the $2,900 per loss going over the side of Gambit. You see, that gives them guns again next round. They're doing all right. Spectre buys are going to allow Gambit a 12th round buy here, even though they're going in again. So playing the Econ right, but 100 Thieves still using the momentum here. Ride that wave all the way in. My gosh, I thought Nitro, I thought Ethan, excuse me, was going to stick it. Defo actually cleans up Asuna, but they do apply a good, a good bit of pressure down B long. Yeah. They've got Steel, who's making sure no one has pushed their way up. He's also playing off of the turret so he can swing off. Now they're going to flip the map back. A is entirely open. Moving through mid, this has proved quite useful for both teams as it spreads the map a bit and how they use it. That's going to be Redgar going down to start things off. 100 Thieves, now spread the map once again. Yeah, the classic is just, that's just not a fair fight in that moment. As, as, as devastating as the right click can be, there's just not a whole lot that it can do there. So you're right, for 100 Thieves, you have an opportunity to reset. You still have a gun advantage while the numbers may not be leaning your way. I love that they cut noise. You see Chronicle has to rotate off while they're still leaning towards B. They're going to hit that site. Nitro ultimate ready. Once they do get in, Shados could turn it if he gets in with the Empress and has a nice flank for himself, but he's coming from the front side of the site. And it looks like that's going to be the case for everyone. No. Chronicle's going to have the late flank. How does this work for 100 Thieves? Spike going down. Uh, he, hasn't, he hasn't gotten it down. Oh. 
but he, they may not have to as they're just getting kills across the board. Whoa. Yeah, forget the spike, just get the kills. 100 Thieves at map point, looking to put one round away from pushing us to map three. Nine rounds in a row for 100 Thieves. Can they make it 10 straight? Asuna starting to pop off. I think one of the biggest things we recognize in the change of rounds from first to second half is just first blood. Who's going down first? There, we did see Redgar go down and some trades in the site, but every time 100 Thieves has been able to open up the map on one member of Gambit, they just seem to be able to run the gauntlet to either side. They get those openings, they get that space, and they take it. You give them an inch, and they are going to indeed take the entire site yeah. uh, off of that, but can they do it again? Heavy lean towards mid. You've got some info that nobody was pushing in from A off of Hiko's drone, or off of Hiko's dart, excuse me. They've actually worked their way up, and that's the same That's the same drone that you called a couple of rounds Many ago. Rounds ago yep. Seems like they'll play this one a little bit slower, knowing 100 Thieves also knows that strat, mate have pushed through it, may have just waited. You can see they're waiting for the peak that would have come through that tube. I think Nat saw the gun. I think Nat just saw Nitro's gun there. Just for, just for a split second, like just the pixel of it, Nitro backed up. But I think just Nat should have a very good idea of where Nitro is. Oh my word. So at least he doesn't have any advantage out of getting this orb, so he's not tempted to go grab it. No! Uh, Caster curse. Uh, as he moves up, Nitro goes down. Nats is there. Nice bite because he knows he's not getting out of this one safe as the team's trying to rotate over for some help. He does get the heal. No, they wait off. Shock dart out of Hiko's able to clean that up. So numbers equalized at four apiece. As of course, as I say that, 100 Thieves get the numbers advantage. Redgar has dropped. Three members remain on the side of Gambit as that's been equalized. Kills trading back and forth. As Ethan gets the spike down, Shadoff's playing around the smoke. Shadoff swings Shados. out, able to dismiss away, grabs the land, grabs the kill, excuse me, onto Ethan. As now Gambit have the numbers advantage. The remaining members of 100 Thieves huddled up. Back behind Yellow. Not a ton of Utah to work with. I mean, you've got the, the shock dart, but Eco's playing pretty tight here, Asuna. Able to clear out the... Dart. Sonar's up. Live person not be able to spade space. Shadow's good for one. Pico. Pico. Trades one out. Oh, just narrowly not able to get the second. Pico. He doesn't pitch again. He's able to get a second one. Hiko, 24 health. Running for the fences as Chronicle has plenty of health. Chronicle on the tap. He's got to get Bros it to Bros don't happen. fake. He's got to get it to happen. Oh Hiko God. swings out. He gets four. He gets the Red Bull clutch. 100 Thieves were down, but they steal the round away from Gambit to push us to map three. 11 straight rounds coming from 100 Thieves. Perseverance and experience as a longtime squad and longtime friends in the TAC Ooh. FPS scene. They use all that friendly friendship, as we said. Didn't somebody say friendship was going to be a big power here in Berlin? Well, damn, it is. Friendship for 100 Thieves here coming through. What a game, Doug. What a game. What a game. And NA fans also want to see resilience. It's great to watch a team win all the time, but knowing they can do it from behind is something that makes you proud to be a part of that region. And I'm sure the fans are loving the fact that we get a map three. Defo was just a mad lad there. You saw him like with the op jump peek around yellow and <laughs> yeah. like just like doesn't change, right? They yeah. don't change the pace of their play. They don't change what they do in those moments. But for 100 Thieves, they were able to weather the storm. They were able to find themselves through all of the mess that was thrown their way, able to maintain their composure. And, you know, we talked about this a bit yesterday, I believe. That's that's the mark of a championship team, right? Like, take a hit, know what you're made of. You learn a lot in games like that about who you are as a team. Hey, uh, credit goes to a lot of people there. Uh, Steel calling left. shots, the team providing info. They were a completely different squad coming into the second half. And the advantage, tactical pause as well, to make sure they didn't lose themselves or feel like everything was just too easy. Zero, zero, right? Let's keep it going. We need to get to the next one, and they do actually get it back to 0-0. Zero, zero. And even with that, Shados was a monster. Again, 26 and 15. He looked great across the board on that Reyna, but you've got Asuna who went, who went tip for tat, right? 23 and 19 on the Reyna himself. So excellent, excellent performance really out of both star duelists. But the thing is, I think we've seen very good out of Gambit. We've seen very good out of 100 Thieves, but who's got enough in the tank, right? Because we still have to do this for one more map. And we got to do it on split.
which most teams have been taking out of the map pool, trying to figure out. On the KO, there's some instances in which you get value. Yes, you're going against the Cypher again, and you know what Snat's going to be able to do as he tries to anchor a site with a knife in his face, yeah. but that wasn't a problem on his end. And before we came into this, no, it wasn't. And before we came into this, I said this is a map that could either you know pull your team apart and expose a lot of things, and that would be great for the other team, and that means the other side rolls it. And it's because Split can be such a tough map if you fall behind on yeah. economy. Think about the B site. If the enemy has taken the B site and you're low on util, the best way to take it back is to dive right in, which becomes so dangerous, and you're forced into that position all the time. So anybody starts running away with Split, it's tough to come back. Clear out a ton of space, really. Shadows Trailblazer did, like, it cleared out mid, cleared out ropes, got all the way down there now. Steel did reposition, so they should not know he's there. And he's got the shorty. By golly, he's oh, got yep, the shorty. They saw. They spot him. <laughs> yep. Get out of board. This is not safe. So far as he stayed, zero point to check. Oh, still there. Yep, that's exactly what I saw. He also heard two footsteps on the exit. So they're going to play this one slow. Did he give himself a classic, too? What a cheeky boy. Quiet opening round. Here from Gambit, Austin is going in aggressive. Great Ashley Star, Austin able to clear up Chronicle, and now they so they understand they weren't able to get into B, so they're going to come right back into steal the shorty. Good for one with a flash in his face, but that's all it was good for. They cleared him out. Now you've got you've got presence to understand, right? Like they could be heading back towards A through ropes, or they could be pulling back. A tricky spot left. to be in, and that's why you see Hundred Thieves. They're just playing back. Right, like they're gonna play back to spawn, give up a little bit of retail, and that's fine because you're still gonna be in a position to retake if possible. Defo feeling a little pressure. I like the cam. They're gonna have to turn around and look at it, but it's just knowing who's coming to the site. Another gravity well. Beautiful by Nitro to just slow everything down right now. Still an astral form protected by two. Defo is able to get the spike down, but Ethan wow. swings around with two. They get the last kill that they need. They are gonna be able to get the defuse as well. Hundred thieves win the pistol. And again, 100 Thieves get to rely on the last two maps of how Gambit plays attack. They have come yep. in on the attack side every time. What pistol rounds have looked like, whether they're aggressive, whether they're flanking. 100 Thieves get a little bit better read on it. Asuna with the snap. Good thing he was in the range before the play. <laughs> yeah, good thing. And again, we talked about the shorty, right? And how, yeah. how like impactful it could have been. He did get his. He got one on the way out, but you highlighted Nitro's utilization of his gravity so wells. Good. So good. Two key moments, right? The first one didn't Absolutely. lead to kills, but it led to a denial of space. The second one did, and that provided so much bang for Buck. Let's see how they play this. Stars set up Caterpillar on the way into A to make things quite difficult for the side of Gambit if they do decide to engage. You can see Nitro hanging out by screens as good space is being taken in mid, and that's about all they need until Asuna fires back. It was another one. It was another gravity wall that Asuna swung off of and was able to get a kill. And yes, Gambit don't have much as far as firepower to fight back with, but we highlight a Nitro and his excellent utilization mm -hmm. of his util. That's two rounds in a row now where it's been impactful. 100 Thieves gaining info on the right side. We saw Ethan able to use a little bit of that Astra smoke for assistance and now realizes they've got some trickery going on around them and they back up to regain composure. Gambit should be able to get, I was going to say, they should be able to get some presence towards A for free, and then they do, so they are yeah. able to get onto site. They don't have heaven control, though. Chronicle gets a spike down. Given the distance of that, the weapons that you've got working on for 100 Thieves, you want to get in their face, right? You've got Spectres, you want to take that fight, put it in their laps, oh. and remove the, the, the benefit that the Sheriff has as far as distance goes over the Spectre. Flash out, shade us out too. Chronicles left alone. He gets cleaned up. He goes good for two. Nitro gets infused. Hundred thieves get to two. Not too much damage done for the thieves. Asuna's going to be focused. Two away from his alt point now, which will be a big focus for them to keep controlling some of these rounds. And we'll see maybe a few phantoms or vandals coming in for hundred thieves as they bonus in. 
We'll see what Gambit can bring out this round to see if they can start their aggression from the attack side here. But this is the first time they've really been snuffed out at the start of a map. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if 100 Thieves can keep this going. Yeah, Rib, I think you make a really good point there. The last two maps have been Gambit early on. Gambit looked good. Gambit get a lead. Yeah. They've got money. They've got like a huge gap as far as rounds go. But this is really the first time that we see something cooking for 100 Thieves. And look at the play here. 3,900. You see 15 spent there for Ethan. But they're just going Sheriff Armor. They're looking at the forward round, saying it's all right if we lose this bonus. We're not going to buy too hard, so we can get more consecutive buys later. Bit of space cleared out. Steel gets pushed back. Defo's going hunting. The dash in. Controls heaven. Waiting for a flash there. You see him just turn in real quick. They're expecting everything. So many things they process these duelists as they dive in and have to dodge around each bit of environmental utility. And now, Asuna on the, on the flank. He's in a great spot. They're going to try to work in Towards B, Asuna's on the flank. There he is. One, two. No, not able to get a third. The Vandal from Shados is able to take care of him. But they try to get on despite. He goes flanking Ooh, around. Oh, Nats was in his right. face. Nats good for a second. He still has to get the spike down, though. Nitro in that 1v2. He's flanking around. And remember, this is a Spectre, right? He's only got a Spectre going into a Vandal and a Phantom. He's been so good on Astra up until this point. Now, mind you, it's only been three rounds, but he's been pretty damn good up until this point. But can he do it again? Can he break the economy of Gambit? No, he cannot. 100 Thieves drop the round. Gambit, they're in a better pot. Asuna with that defuse gets his ult this round, but Gambit says, nah, we'll take the win overall. They're going to be feeling very good about that. They did not fall to the bonus 100 Thieves. We heard Gambit down on the stage cheering it out right there. Nats with a few pivotal kills here before he was able to get the spike down. And Gambit's definitely got the momentum to keep this going if you were questioning. All right, now... How did Gambit respond, right? You were win you won that round, you were supposed to win that round. They've tried working the middle of the map a lot, right? They've used it Sky Util, but 100 Thieves are doing the same. This is now the second time that they lean heavy in aggression and denial of space towards A right off the bat to farm those ult orbs to get Ethan one step closer to that Seekers. Three ultimates as well on deck for Gambit here. Defo found a Sheriff shot, and mid's always a place you can get a little bit of aggression towards. You see Steel here using a bit of timing around a minute and 20 seconds to see if anybody had creeped up mid and oh the answer is yes. Is it a double drop? Oh Getting boy. antsy. Flash of the flash. turn. Shados is able to get two though onto Asuna and Steel. Huge. And that, I mean, Shados, they still have control of, of mid there, right? Like numbers in favor of Gambit. They're going to get the Seekers out too out of Shados and that's going to give them so much room to work with. I mean, the thing, like Gambit, they almost have too many options right now, right? Like Spike's going to have to rotate all the way back towards B. You've got presence that way from Shados and from Redgar. But that's it for now. Was that a pullback? I think Nitro actually just fired those stars and actually, sorry, that was Redgar to make sure the site was going to be clear and then he got one back. You can see it as a smoke there. Nats peeking slowly, great positioning, left. great aim as he takes down Ethan. And that is going to be the uplink to make sure they know exactly where the rest of 100 Thieves are. Remaining members of 100 Thieves now. I mean, they've they've got some trouble in front of them. They haven't gotten onto the site, though. The spike isn't down yet, but they should be able to do so. Hiko's going to get messed up. The spike does go down. Nitro's playing from up top. Hiko's just down to 30 health, and Nitro's been spotted as well. So at this point, yeah, you just kind of back up, save. It doesn't feel good. You're not going to be able to work your way in, carry those weapons into the next round. So Gambit are going to be able to tie us up at two apiece. I think one thing that we have to keep an eye on, Riv, is one of the players that we highlighted so much on this Gambit roster leading up to this tournament was Nats. And yep. by and large... He's been he's been quiet, right? Like it it hasn't been pop off. It hasn't had he hasn't had his crazy moments. But the start to split so far yeah. has been all nats. And if he gets going, hundred thieves may be in trouble. I think one of my favorite things that came out of uh, stage three for nats was something Tom Biz says, and that he for stage three, and you can still see this is still see this in him, is that he, you know he's the king of positioning. And what does that mean? And, and Tom. Uh, you kind of described it as putting yourself in a spot where your opponent's going to have to do something incredible to take you out. And I absolutely love that. And you do see that play style in Nats and how strong he is. Shados, uh, Shados as well, just absolutely obliterating what should have been a 1v1 trade. That's what makes Gambit special. When you see them turn a corner and they continuously wow you with these two frags that should only be a quick trade. That's a, that's a lot what brought him through the first map and the first half of Icebox. Here all tied up at round five. 
Let's see how we get into this one. It's going to be a bit of an eco for 100 Thieves. A bit of an eco, but do they change their approach, right? Like, it's a slight difference. A heavy presence A the last couple of rounds. This time they're working mid. Asuna gets a Blade Storm online. But Ethan's already been popped. No advantage that way. Just try to continue to work the middle of the map. And again, as you mentioned in the previous round, Riv Gambit have been working mid, right? Like, yeah. they've been able to get some space. They've been able to work their way up, and the kills have been traded, yes. Ouch. That has not been safe, though. Great trade. This is what they look for. Chronicle going to Viper Bite down, and it looks like they control A a bit as the team starts to rotate all the way back over. Spike's going to get picked up here by Redgar, I believe, on the way in. Nitro has a weapon upgrade. Oh, but Defo's Swart goes wise to it. Defo's in trouble. Chronicle able to clean up Steel. Asuna cleans up Defo. Wow. Chronicle! Chronicle good for three. Asuna goes up top. Asuna's not going to get anything with that Blade Storm as Redgar pulls him out of the sky to give Gambit the lead. Chronicle waking up a little bit. He's definitely one of the ones you can see with the frags coming through. They, they consider him a bit of the soul of the team. You know, he loves to be playing a variety of champions here. We see Chronicle on the Viper, and he is absolutely holding it down. That first trade and then the movement to put himself out on a catwalk, it absolutely throws 100 Thieves for a loop as he just continues to play different angles. Woo! Feeling, I felt that through the screen. Yep. Let's go into round six here. It is going to be the operator picked up by Asuna. Full rifles for the side of Gambit. And again, middle of the map control, right? Like they felt that that was a weakness in the early rounds. Now they're willing to invest. They're willing to apply pressure there. The previous round was a blade storm. This time it's the op. Great setup, great adaptation from 100 Thieves. Okay. Steel getting pushed out here by a bit of a smoke. And he's staring at a star right now. Austin fires one. Defo goes down. That's a big and pivotal frag to start off the round. Looks like they're all just playing on sound right now. You can hear quite a bit of a rotation. Ethan and Steel back and forth before they decide nothing else has been calmed yet, and they'll go back to a reset. So Steel. He's in a spot to make a play here. Oh, yep. The swing out. Ooh. It was dicey, but he a landed the shots. Yeah. Sun was in his eyes. <laughs> Able to clean up Shados there. So Spike is rotating, taking the scenic crowd all the way back towards A, where they have gotten some room, but Asuna is repositioned. He was across the middle of the map early on. Now he's working his way back. You have to keep an eye on that, so as he's working the middle of the map as well. They've got to pull off. Asuna tries to get oh. away. Excellent gravity well. Asuna missing the first shot, but he lands the shots with the classic. Gets cleaned up on the way out. A parting gift, if you will, as Nitro drops as well. Ethan. It's just Redgar in a 1v3. Ethan lands the shots. We're tied up at three. It does not seem the same for both teams. There's yeah. definitely wear and tear that happens yep. after three maps, and it's getting a little bit sloppier on the takes, on the angle checks, and what utility is still being used to take these sites. Both teams gaining advantage off of bits here and there. A great play with the zero point into Asuna's first off shot there. Steel bringing in the, the recoil back down after the calibration shots come out. And they are able to capitalize on that round once again. Like you said, tied up at three and three. Very much still in either team's hands here as we're on our third map of split. Five for round both it. ways. Cosmic Bat's coming out early, and it's all it's all a ruse, right? Like, they're going to make presence towards A. They draw out the Seekers, but look at where the spike's headed. And it, it's smart. I mean, Hiko kind of wise to what's going on, right? They're going to invest that. He's still leaning that way. They're starting to pull off. The knife doesn't tag anyone, so they know there's no presence towards A. Deep Viper's Pit coming out from Chronicle. Look at that. That's covering half spawn. Oh, I love these mind games right now. Abilities across the map. 100 Thieves finally figuring out what is the true execution. And they'll try the retake on B. And they have no presence in Garage, right? So Gambit are going to be able to huddle back. They still have control of, def of a Defender Spawn. They have control of Garage as well. They just have so much presence. And that forces 100 Thieves into a position where they're going to have to fight their way through what's going on. Chronic. Oh my gosh, the swing from Ethan! But Defo's Judge, of all things, gets the kill on his steal. Nat's playing around. No, he's going to get cleaned up. Redgar in a 1v3. Ethan on the defuse. He at least gets it to half. Oh, oh the my god! There. Redgar, oh my he's going to have to push it. Nitro has to stick it. Nitro wins the round. Oh my gosh! I cannot believe how close these rounds are just coming down to the 1v1s, but they're instant. Like I said before, we're, we're not seeing as many of the trades, as many as the capitalizations off of two frags and three frags. It is up to everyone in this game. You can't give an inch. And it is awesome to see all five performing for both teams here.
Another round coming up. Redgar, absolute stellar play in this round. Hides himself, but cannot get the final shot on a healthy Nitro. Crispy, bro. Crispy. Yeah, and, from and, both sides. And, and really from Gambit, like they just... I, I, I could talk about that round for a really long time. But we have entered the eighth round. It's still good weapons the majority of the way. Chronicle, the one exception is he's got nothing but a bulldog. Defo on light armor. But you see the op in the hands of Asuna holding down Garage. And there is going to be a bit of a peek. Ooh! Look at Hiko threw his alt down mid. They zero pointed immediately to make sure nobody could even walk into Hiko's alt. He owns that area now. Full agency as long as well as an Astro Star if he does have any trouble. Well, and so the interesting thing is like early on in rounds, Gambit have worked mid, but that's that hasn't been a rotation point for them, right? Like think about how they've had to flip the map. They've gone through spawn. They haven't really the time, worked right? mid a, a ton. So this is valuable early on, but I, I just question how much room you're going to get in the mid-round calls, in the late-round calls. And look, now, they know that the Viper's Pit is obviously there, but honestly, that's no different from how they've rotated from B to A and vice versa. Fake from B. You can see Redgar throwing smokes down, pushing back Asuna to find a different position, and he's going to get Asuna pushed all the way back to decide to go on A now, because 100 Thieves has not bit to a rotation. Oh! Redgar's able to land the shots onto Asuna. Ethan's going to get oh, cleaned up as well. Damn, Nitro. Gonna have to anchor down the site. Nitro good for two, buys time, but Chronicle trades him out. Hiko, up top in heaven. Steel's gonna be playing around as well. Hiko cleans that up. Steel's gonna be flanking around. So the spike is down. This is a brutal spot for Redgar. He's got the op that he picked up off of Asuna. He's gonna trade it out. My gosh, he's going for the win. He's gonna drop down, waiting to see where he can find Steel's playing off site. The flash is there, but he flashed Hiko as well. Drops things down to a 1v1 with four seconds, but is he going to have enough time? That's going to be just, uh, just around the corner. Oh he does get the spike down. 1v1. Red one. He's got util. Surely he's got, he's got the cosmic divide too, but surely he doesn't use it in the sense it's right. No armor. Steel. Waiting for time. Steel oh wins the shots my. for 100 Thieves. Knife's edge, Riv. Knife's edge. Every one of these rounds could honestly go either way. They set the dance floor up, and 100 Thieves will tap dance another win into their favor on this one. Steel backing up, backing up to have the wide range angle. He didn't want to push forward. He didn't want to get flanked from elbow. Knew they were in sight near screens and just waited for the peak on both sides, and it was really anybody's shot. Five to three now as we move into round nine. I think Gambit was completely ready to see no one in A. With the way that Redgar had moved in and dropped Asuna, 100 Thieves felt completely fine thinking that there's, I was just one down and Gambit ran right into a wall of Thieves. Rifles across the board. Both teams early flash. It's been interesting to see how, how both teams, oftentimes you'll see teams fight for garage control, right? Like they invest a lot of utility to fight for that space, but it's actually been the opposite, at least on this map, where both teams have fought for a lobby control very heavily. I believe Nitro just pulled back some stars. You saw one to disappear from mid. And it looks like they are getting the Astros reset on both sides here, as you can see them disappear from the mini map. So the ground Gambit has wanted to gain here, Pretty efficient, and let's see if they can grab any advantage off of this one. Slow play, usually finding steel down here, and they'll waste, a, not waste, but use, I should say, a flash on it. I mean, they've, they've made noise, right? Like, Defo's thunderfooting down there. Everyone knows yeah, yeah. where he is, so there's no question about it. And you see Ethan has pulled over to help, right? Because for a while, they didn't have a ton of visibility I that was happening on a ramp. They knew they didn't have mid control as well. Now they're going to bust out the Seekers to apply pressure towards A. The spike is that way as well. That's certainly where they want to make this hit. Asuna's got to go big here because they're, they're about to have their hands full. 30 seconds left. Ooh, kind of dividing both sides. A little trickery here. They haven't shown too much. And this could be big for Asuna. Takes down oh! one fight. No one expecting the double rope play. I and the I mean, the round is... Oh, I don't want to say it's entirely lost, but this late in the round, you're at a heavy numbers disadvantage. You haven't really gotten onto the site. The spike is all the way back on top ramps. I don't know that there's really any room for Gambit to make anything happen. Yeah, you see they're not pulling any trigger. They're just going to wait things out, carry the rifles into the next round. Asuna's two kills there won them that round. Yeah. 
It, the choke point was not expected, especially to take down two. We talked about the trades. And that cosmic divide from Gambit, I loved that. They just weren't able to play around it. It cut off so many important first peak positions, all the way to be heaven upstairs side, all the way to be entrance from the defending side. Really great thought and way out a way to use the cosmic divide, but just not able to act on it to get themselves that round. Gambit calling a timeout here. Down three rounds in this map. Three folks, if you are just joining us, I am so sorry because you have missed a banger. <laughs> map one, all Gambit. I mean, top to bottom, right? From beginning to end. Map two looked like it was going to be the same. Gambit got to 11. Is it 11? Yeah. 11, if I'm not mistaken. And then 100 Thieves just woke up. Yeah. Right? Got 11 rounds of their own straight. Absolutely popped off, forcing us to map three. And map three so far has been close, right? Like, it's been tightly contested. But you feel 100 Thieves the last couple of rounds. They've been able to read the map well. They haven't bit on some of the fakes that Gambit have thrown, as you mentioned. And they have the lead, an important lead at that playoff bracket spot on the line. Incredible. It really is. And a lot of what happens in games, uh, that last map, I, I could say, could be quite deflating here. We're seeing yeah. Gambit now yep. take one of their first not extended leads, but first leads where they're going to be able to capitalize on some of the eco rounds Gambit will be forced into. Gambit wasn't able to put as much power in that mid area, and Steel has been much more aware of a timing when to use zero point and say, he's here, they're not, and how to react around that. Yeah, I think we talked about what have we learned from 100 Thieves. They get punched in the mouth. How do they respond? They, they respond fine. You. Yeah. What have we learned <laughs> from, like, I think this is important too because we have a lot to learn from Gambit. Yeah. How do they respond when they get punched in the mouth, when they're hit with adversity, when they lose a, a huge great point. lead? Right? Like, I think we talked about going into the series. We're going to learn a lot from both teams. I think there's still a lot to be learned from Gambit. But 100 Thieves so far, maybe not map one or first half of map two, but they are living up to the hype now, and they're picking up right where they left off. The break doesn't seem to have cost much of a difference at all as Austin is able to get second, make Close. that three, and dashes away. And look at the amount of assists that steel is getting. Oh, oh boy! Timing, bad timing. timing to look. Hiko gets taken out by the one way. He set up himself. Shots from Chronicle. Almost match every member he needs. All right, Nats. I hear you're pretty freaking good at this game. You find yourself in a 1v3. Spike, nowhere near you, but you, he should be able to pick that up. Yep. And he's got, he's got all day. He could pitch a tent, think twice about it, three times about it, read a book, and then decide where he wants to exec on the site. He's one thing working in his favor is he does not have to see anybody until he's quite deep, which gives him one v one angles to work off of. Oh, oh wow! Now, Zero point comes out. He is one point away from having the neural theft, right? So get that on the on the. Um, all right, never mind. Insta turn. It's we like, tried. Wait, let's check that side. <laughs> yeah, we, we tried. We tried building a world in, in what if. Uh, there was just nothing doing there. And I think as we were talking about in the break for, for 100 Thieves, it seems to continue to pile yeah. on. Asuna popping off with three there control across the middle of the map. It's been excellent. And looking back, I was mentioning before we saw the frags keep coming in about Steel and what KO brings to that table. We talked about it the first time we saw them play against Avon Liberty, but this KO brings Steel's assist average through the roof. Yeah, the yep. knowledge he provides. Mm -hmm. the, he just got two or three assists there for Asuna. I think Asuna cleaned up the last one. But that's also, also Nitro for Ethan. Nitro and Steel have been putting up so many assists to get those kills. Asuna! Asuna! My gosh! The ball's on that guy to go in that deep with the blade storm. Nitro, the nice. anger, picks it up as well as he gets to. Shados is left alone in a 1v3. It was a hot and heavy call coming out from 100 Thieves. They felt the pressure coming in from Gambit and they punch right back. What a quick round. It really setting the fuse on that Last one, showing Gambit a little bit differently how to play defense with attack uh, on for one round. It kind of spicing it up, changing the variety, and making sure Gambit really isn't feeling comfortable with the space they can take. Oh my word. Dude, cut co delivery. Well, and that's just like, that's such a brutal spot, right? Because you've got Asuna who's mad ladding his way into the back line, right? Yeah. Like zero regard for life. And then you go, well, we got to get away from that guy. Where are we going to go? Oh, into Nitro's lap? For sure. Okay. And there are rounds, <laughs> uh, Doug. We've seen Spectres coming out for Gambit as they kind of partial by, find their way in. Here, back to Rifles. What can they put up? Asuna takes a shot as both. Oh, man, it's actually armor there off a of defo. Yeah, Asuna got tagged up a little bit as well, yeah, right? Yep. Down to 27 armor, 89 health. Nothing aggressive here. I mean, a good bit of trading of you, but Asuna! Oh, Asuna gets a, another one. 
Shados trades him out, but the damage has been done mid. That's not a safe space. Steel's able to recontrol that area of the map. The spike is still back in spawn, so you know they're not fully confident on where Gambit want to go. And now Seekers come out. Well, this is one of those rounds where Gambit shots are on fire. They've already dinked two. <laughs> like a little rope game from Nats and Steel as they head down in. And he's going to rip off the Null Command and see what he can find as he moves around. Freaking Mission Impossible impersonation we've got going on here again. He mentioned the ult denying any sort of anything. And, and for Gambit, as is customary for them, just wait. Right? Like, wait things out. Steel! Almost. Redguard clean set up. There is an op down there. It's not being picked up. 3v3. Looks like they're trying to block off at least one angle so they know exactly left. what they're looking at when they get into the site. Ethan is low, but Ethan is in a spot to make an impact play. That's, the, that's the discipline corner. You gotta check that box! So Ethan's able to get one nitro again. The anchor back site gets Last one to player. trade it out. Hiko and shade us, and Hiko wins it again. A 9-3 half for 100 Thieves. Just on top of it, right there behind each other, Switching the angles side. they're trying to frag, frag from are just so covered by everything they need. You saw one go down Hiko trade. Ethan went down. There was another trade from Nitro. It is so methodical right now from 100 Thieves. Gambit needs to turn it up here for the second half. Oh, dog, they have to, right? Because how many times... <laughs> The thing is, how many leases on life are both of these teams going to get, right? Like, how many times are we going to count either both of these teams out just to have them come yep. right back? For 100 Thieves, this is a different team, right? Like, this is not the same team that we saw on Icebox. Not at least the first half. Not the same team that we <laughs> saw on Ascent. And you can make a, a, the exact same argument for Gambit. This yeah. is not the same Gambit we saw. It's not, but we are kind of hovering around the same amount of rounds. If 100 Thieves grab a few and Gambit runs it, we get a repeat of last map just on that flip side. On the flip side. Speaking of flip sides, we've dropped Sean and we've upgraded to Bala. Who's going to break <laughs> down what he saw in the first half? Bala, baby, she's all yours. I don't know if it's an upgrade. Sean, I think, got a little uh, scared after he saw that first half on Icebox. So he's feeling a, a little down and he's in his feels right now. We're going to go ahead and try to do our best impersonation of Sean, of course. Uh, by taking a look at this round, this is an example of how ultimates can really, really change the way the game is played with how many there are in this round. Let's go ahead and start talking about them. We have the Knives on Defo. We have the Astral Wall from Redgar. We have the Viper's Pit from Chronicle. And on the other side, we have Ethan's. He's got the Seekers available. We've got the Null Command available for Steel as well. So what does Gambit cook up? Well, they're going to set up. A lot of players, Sky and, um, of course, Defo over on this side of A. They've got the Viper Wall placed down. But meanwhile, everybody's actually moving over towards this B site with the spike. Astra's over there. That's Redgar. We have, of course, uh, Chronicle as well moving his way back after placing that wall. So they actually want to bait out. Steel has been throwing a knife oftentimes over towards that A main just to get information and also potentially to suppress. But on the other side, they know too what the ults are on the other side. So let's see what happens. Instantly, we're going to go ahead and roll the clip. Instantly, we see Defo pop the knives. And why does he do it so early, you might ask? Maybe it's an updraft opportunity? No. It's to bait out the fact that this is going to be a push. The Astral Divide comes out and Steel also pops his no command. That's what that clip was meant to show. Or to show. And then Ethan pops his Seekers. But pause it right here. The entire 100 Thieves side is not in this B site, so this gives a free opportunity for Chronicle to push up in the alley in spawn. Go ahead and roll it and put down his Viper's Pit himself. The Seekers kind of confirmed that it was all a fake. We also have Steel confirm that on the side of A. But how do you break this? Because now, pause it, what do you have left? You don't have the Seekers available for Ethan. He pushes out on top of the Viper's Pit because that gives him an angle. Nobody's going to want to peek up top. You want to actually kind of wait about uh wait below it and play inside of that viper's pit so what else do we have can we get down underneath heaven in this situation look at the tripwires that nats has set up the astra star here for redgar as well there's really a lot of difficult situations to deal with for 100 thieves let's continue to roll the rest of the way out because they kind of clean it up the very very important thing is they did take out defo earlier. Oh no, Defo's coming back through spawn right now. He's super, super late. That gives a lot of space now in this bottom side of B to actually fight through. And we'll see the rest of this. There's a tripwire there. How do you get at Chronicle? That's a big question right now. 
that they answer because Chronicle just comes through. This is why we're talking about the composure down the line. It's getting really late and Gambit just losing that Icebox game is making mistakes. Of course, Chronicle wants to keep that Viper's Pit up. Redgar came through heaven, of course. We saw the aftermath of this, but it wasn't really much left in the tank for that round, especially when 100 Thieves played the retake so, so well. So we've got one more half, and it looks like 100 Thieves is honestly in good shape to take this. Doug, Riv, Rug, I got you, I got to leave it to you guys to close this out. Yeah, Bala, I think saying that they're in a good place to take it might be selling it a, a bit short. An excellent opening half, 9-3. They've, they've read Gambit like a book, and I think it's just been such a, a, a tale of two maps. Well, I guess three maps, really. Three maps. Uh, on Indeed. just how well 100 Thieves have adapted, how they're reading Gambit so well. It's just night and day differences. And it's hard to... You know, you can watch 100 Thieves kind of reel and what they're doing, but it's hard to know when that experience for them is kicking in, what to do about it. Asuna coming up with amazing shots so far to make things happen. It's a lot of what we saw, again, Gambit doing confident open shots, starting the round, and it just makes the other team look discombobulated right off the bat as they reposition, get back into utility spots where they can get information. It seems like 100 Thieves is able to work off that pain point throughout the first half. Now our second half here, 100 Thieves on attack. Clearing out ropes, they should get, yeah. So the Trailblazer gets all the way down there and they get a good bit of info, but Defo playing in the smoke with a shorty. Hey, you've got chips passing in the night, right? Seal and Asuna have both already passed by. Now the smoke comes down, but there's plenty of noise that's been made, right? Chronicle knows that they're coming. Chronicle gets tagged up. Trades a little, little bit back. Warning shots, but that's all it is for now. But they, they have control of mid again. They have control of ropes. Defo's in a spot to blow things up. No, Shorty not doing anything this time around. Asuna's frenzy does. However, as they've taken mid control, they've taken mail, they've taken B Heaven, and now they're getting deep onto the site. Push back Nats, push back whoever's left on the side of Gambit. This site is theirs. Quick plant down. Let's see where the flanks could be coming from. Hiko watching the back already. And they are just waiting for Nitro. He could have a big play here. Oh, oh my word. The middle of the map again, right? You feel that pressure. You understand that that's exactly where things are going to be coming in from. Nitro in a beautiful spot and wins the two gunfights that's needed. This does not look good for Gambit Riv. Quick clean up here. Nitro finds the third. Shados doing damage, though. You see Gambit still with the fist bumps. They know there's a lot of game to play. And 100 Thieves really want to make that untrue here. They grab the first round and may be able to carry it to the bonus. Yeah, but I mean, you, is, there, is there a lot of game to play? Because we're talking 10-3. You mentioned the next round, so presumably we're looking at 11-3. We thought the same thing on Icebox. That's fair. That's fair. That's a very good point. But 100 Thieves... I mean, the momentum that they've had, the confidence with which they're playing, and I don't know that it's really changed much of anything. I think it's just Steel, Steel's calling, Nitro's mid-round calling as well, have just been so good yeah. up until this point. Right? And Gambit, again, they've, it's just pistols. Slow, slow. Okay, Trailblazer first. Oh, what a what? shot from Chronicle. Very unexpected. A nice double up from Gambit here on A ramp. Hostiles cleared out, and now 100 Thieves have to think twice about whether they want to go A. Because they haven't really, they haven't gained really any ground that way. Good bit of spams here. Seeing if anybody will waste the mutil or make a mistake just for the time being. But a lot of respect being given here on this. Bonus round coming in, or I should say, second round coming in. Ethan, do. Ethan not holding back. Whoa. Nats has gone big. Chronicle has as well. Steel alone in this one before we talk about economy being flipped, right? Be off of situations like this. And the thing is, the remaining members of Gambit have all upgraded weapons. Nats is playing so patiently, he's not going to swing out. He's not going to give Steel the chance to punish that. They're just going to wait, make him come to them. That's my favorite. Wow. There's still a long way to go, but that's big. Yeah, yeah, I love that. You're always playing with the dart in you. You can kind of fake where your positioning is, how you play it. Nicely done by Nats there to not give that shot. He could have easily peeked yeah. in yeah. when Steel faked the shot over towards the side of Defo. That was Steel's objective, to pull somebody out off of looking a different way with your aim. Nats just 
cold as ice, staying and holding that position to final, finalize the round. Four to 10 here as we hit round 15. That is very big for Gambit to stop the bleeding now. Yeah, because so you got to think, if that round doesn't go their way, Gambit or, or excuse me, 100 Thieves are riding a bonus right now, right? Like exactly. they've got a fighting chance in this round. And while it doesn't always happen, there's certainly a possibility where 100 Thieves win that round. But because Gambit take away the Thrifty, 100 Thieves are back on pistols. They can't fight with the same oomph that they would be able to otherwise. But it looks like they're going to lean towards B anyway. And well, they're met with Vandals Spike across the board. Ethan and Asuna have dropped. The Spike does as well. The Flash is great. A little Pop Flash right through the Viper wall, but that might be all. It was doing it. It was pretty out of Gambit, and they stuffed the push from 100 Thieves. That was quick. That's a lot of what we have seen previously from Gambit in this series. So it seems like coming back online with that confidence could prove very useful here in the second half. And they do it a little bit earlier as well uh, than 100 Thieves was able to on Icebox. So they're ready. They're raring to go. Full weapons across the board with Defo on the Operator again. It's made such a difference for them. There was, you know, talks about Defo being one that might have the most nerves on stage. Team's going to have to help him. He has completely squashed any of those and showed everybody that he absolutely belongs here. All right, 100 Thieves, they have a couple of rounds to give, so they're okay. All right, they still have a fine round lead. They should be able to get two, presumably three more rifle rounds. Even if they drop real bad, they lose like the next five or something like that. They're still at a spot where they can fight back and they can punch back yep. a couple of different times. And for Gambit, oh, well, that's an excellent start. That's not giving up any space mid. And they're getting info. Chronicle knows that Asuna's mid. That's a big player. A lot could either be focused around Asuna or they're moving off him so that that information gained. Gambit again goes to a bit of a reset. You see the jump peaks from Nats on screens. Doesn't see anything. Puts himself in a better position towards the site with his cam in A. And this looks like they're calling it right against 100 Thieves. Well, and look, right, this is where Nats has made a living right here, right? Seekers have been used across the middle of the map, but this is where Nats has made a living in anchoring down this site. Moments like this have made Nats as famous as he is. That's what's given him the reputation that he has. Can he do it again? No. Ethan cleans that up right off the bat, extinguishes the possibility of that, and should be able to get the spike down. Yasuna backing up. He's going to get away with his life. Excellent take from 100 Thieves. Yeah, able to thwart the kind of knowledge from the cam. Hiko! Cavalry approaches. Shados takes down Hiko, but he's got a lot of work to do. As the Seekers come back at him, they have eyes on the prize. Up top, Defo looking to make an upshot towards Elbow, but they'll go for Vandals here to start. They're going to go for it with the time on the clock. Switch things out. Not a ton for Util. They turn the flash. Austin is in a great cross, but no, he's wow. not able to land the shots in the cloud burst. They're continuing to push it. Nitro, Ethan trying to hold the site back. Last Ethan play. good for one. Ethan not able to get the second. No, the clip runs dry. And what would have been a save of the off for anyone else? They gambit go straight for it as Defo throws his off on the floor, picks up a Vandal, and they sweep that round out from under 100 Thieves. And, like, they, there was so much room that 100 Thieves were able to create off of Hiko's big 2K. Almost gets the third here with the flash in his face. The cross was great, but just at the end there, Ethan just running out of bullets, right? Like, that's all that boils down to, and it's so crazy. It's split-second moments like that. Rounds are decided off of that. Yeah, absolutely, and that's 6 to 10 now as Gambit. Start to mount the rounds in their favor. The op there for Defo still, they knew they had the money with the round win to get one back in his hands. A necessary thing as he peeks down A ramp and they look to control the rest of the map on the side of Gambit's defense. Just pistols for 100 Thieves, three Sheriffs, a Ghost, and a Classic. Asuna way. was able to get that ult orb, so you see them playing for that, bring that Blade Storm online and kind of equalize things at least a little bit. But they just, they lean so hard B right now, they don't really have any presence towards A. They also don't really have any presence towards mid. Ooh. As Steel drops. Yeah, Chronicle getting a frag from where we saw Asuna playing quite a bit last round. Oh, the drop off. Can Redgar live? Yeah. No, he gets taken down quick. 100 Thieves may have that entry to B. Yep, that's big. They're able to get onto the side. Asuna going in aggressive. Oh, but Nats pulls him down. Nitro. 
Looking to get the spike down, Shados flanking around. Shados good for two. He's not even gonna get a chance at the third. The pistols are not enough. The blade storm was not enough right. either. Gambit gets a seven, but Hundred Thieves now they're back on a rifle. They are great cleanup by the rest of Gambit there on the in or they take on the execution. Just Redgar goes down and to an eco round. That's all it should be. Chronicle, Nats, Shados, Ultimates ready. And I think they're pretty close to having the other two on deck as well. So uh, a lot of reasons for them to be able to sink rounds one after the other in their favor. And 100 Thieves is going to try to battle back hard here. That's the zeros going in. No need for a buy. 47.50 on Defo. So they're sitting on quite a bit of money here and can buy for other people like Redgar, who had to go back into yep. the bank for this round. So yep. Gambit are sitting pretty to make this look like a tie or even more. Four rounds in a row. You've got Defo. Look for that aggressive peak. Nothing doing. Viper's Pit used across the middle of the map. But here we go. You see 100 Thieves. They want to go aggressive. They want to go hot and heavy. And they're going to use the no command as the tip of the spear. They're going to push Defo off. Redgar spotted steel, so he's down. But they should be able to protect him at least for a little bit. He goes able to clear one out. Yeah, look at him. Defend, defend steel. They get the res online and they get the spike down. Counter Viper's Pit, too. Zero point doesn't catch too much on the score. And here comes Nats from the outside. Gonna give himself a gate up link and now figure out where all of 100 Thieves is. Ken, Gambit, bite down. And they're all playing the Vipers, but Asuna dancing around. Gonna get tagged up a little bit and start to play off site. See members of Gambit slowly start to push their way forward. Defo going up top. Ethan gets cleaned up. Hiko playing in it as well. Asuna's in a good spot for it, but no, he gets traded out. Hiko. He going to 1v3, but they're so weak! He go, they're so weak! Oh he go, they're so weak! He go, just on the other side, the tap. No, he's gonna fake it out, and that might give his position away, but he go, he go, does it again! A Red Bull clutch of 4K for 100 Thieves! Incredibly pivotal round coming in. Hiko does go down, but this is going to cause that rebuy for Gambit to have to come in. They will be dropping each other's guns, which brings the bank down, and 100 Thieves needed to find a way to stop that bankroll from going up. That's a first round loss going onto the side of Gambit, so they got 1,900 on top of everything they have now. 2,400 if they lose another one, and a lot of them are on zero right now. So that means 2,400 credits in the bank if they lose this next round. That's how 100 Thieves can now work off the economy game, and he goes clutch game. Dog. Let's go. Let's go. What a play. What a series. Right? Like what, what a series. I mean, both teams have just been so good. Neither of them are willing to step back. Neither of them are willing to give an inch. Knockout punches to get to the knockout round, Duck. Oh, my word. We see it round after round. It's going to be another team timeout from 100 Thieves, a bit in the lead. Not the same kind of timeout they did on Icebox, where they had yep. nine rounds in a row. This is, again, though, to recompose, make sure they're resetting and understand 0-0, zero, zero, play it the same way with the information we now have. Now, we start to think about the next round, Gambit will have rifles, right? They they do still have enough for the op. You taught you touched yeah. on the economy. Heavy spend uh, out a couple of these players, Defo and Shados, 7,500 to 6,400 credits. So they're, they're, I mean, they're emptying out the bankroll, right? They're yeah. putting out everything that they have in order to really be able to fight back in this round because you have to understand, right, for, for Gambit, now we're talking about how their windows are closing, right? Their opportunities at coming back yeah. and making this thing competitive are starting to dwindle and 100 Thieves. I mean, they've got everything in front of them. Setting up across the map, we can see where the Astro Stars are placed. Pretty consistent throughout the rounds. So if she trailblazes out, Steel can swing off of that. Keep an eye on that. See if Ethan, there's the trailblaze. Steel swings right off the bat. Pushes Defo out of mail with the flash as well. Now Defo didn't get spotted, so they don't know that there's an op. Waiting on the other that side. timing of the drawback on the smoke. Oh, and the flash, it's beautiful. 100 Thieves are playing around their, their utility so well right now. Nitro literally saving Steel by the skin of his teeth there with the perfect smoke. Pulled back on a recalled star. Steel now through the ropes. He's been doing this consistently. Feels confident on this play as the rest of 100 Thieves are still in a position to find and execute. Mm -hmm. There is so much room gained here by Steel, and he's just picking up the audio. So you just saw Nitro drop a couple of stars mm -hmm. towards A, right? No Up in heaven. Just, re just actually recalled the one from heaven, but dropped the one in Defender Spawn. The Cosmic Divide is going to come out as well. Nats has spotted Ethan. Oh, my goodness. He saw everything. Everything's in front of him. 
Looking like they're going to try to pop flash. Do the cosmic divide. Nats gets cleaned up instantly. Nitro's able to get one on Shados as well. 100 Thieves have full control of the site. The remaining members of Gambit are just now showing up, and it could potentially prove to be a pretty one-dimensional attempt, attempt yeah. at a retake because Steel's in a position to clean out everything that's coming in through heaven. But Redgar creeping his way forward. Steel just on the other side. That should give the kill. Redgar cleans up Steel. He go backing up. Spike continuing to tick away. 4v3 still in favor of 100 Thieves. As they counter with a with a cosmic divide of their own. Ethel. Oh, oh no, just flash. a little shallow, just a little shallow, but he gets a kill anyway. Hiko just behind him is able to spot Defo. He gets cleaned up. Hiko and Nitro in a 1v2 against oh. Redgar. He's up in heaven, he's got the op, but yeah. he doesn't have his time. And really what Gambit don't have is time at this point. They're running oh. out of it. 100 Thieves get to match point, get to series point. Okay, for some reason I thought Redgar went down for a second because this, I wonder if they, actually, I mean, you, you give it to Defo. He does have Blade Storm though, but the pressure on his shoulders coming into this round is so immense. Remember what we said about how much money they would have. Look at the buys for final round. Yep. They've gotten pushed back and pushed back, but with this Gambit squad we've seen, it doesn't mean they are down and out. Just backs against the wall here. 100 Thieves looking to close it out for game point to get to that knockout. Well, the interesting thing is, I mean, 100 Thieves are in a bit of weird buy too, right? You've got three Spectres and two Phantoms. So it's not like they're coming at this from full strength, but Seeker's coming out. They work towards heaven, they work towards backside. A couple of early kills coming out from Gambit, Defo, and Redgar lighting up the kill feed. Steel hasn't gotten much closer. But Hiko trades two, Nitro gets one as well, but that's all it's gonna be. Gambit, they get to eight, and for now, they fend off the loss. Oh, Defo. The rest of the team obviously coming up big there, but behind the operator over the shoulder with those big shots. And he is able to help the team come through. Look at Shados up top 20, fragging out. Defo has been kind of a little more quiet this time, but that does not mean he has not been putting in the frags that are impact frags to keep these rounds in Gambit's favor. Game point all the way to our OT. Can Gambit get four more? Eco round for 100 Thieves. Yeah, certainly not what you want to see here. But again, they have some time, right? Like they have they have some room to work with, although the margin for error is getting smaller and smaller. It's still there. Clear out mid, clear out the heaven. You know they want to go their way. They got the blade storm. Asuna's Whoa. path has been cleared, right? And look at him, he's going all the way into spawn. Meanwhile, yeah, Asuna gets one onto Chronicle. Defo's gonna have to run for the fences as Chronicle turns around, or excuse me, as Asuna turns around, reestablish back control of heaven. They're going towards B, but they've 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 swapped spots. Yeah. You've got Nats and Shadows who are playing back in garage. And they have the spike. It's all of theirs. They force this. They push this. Will they be able to get in? Asuna's going to be the first one. Does he go up and everybody comes out low? It's not going to be that play. Asuna. They're just waiting for these to drop. He feels like he's got the flick and it's not going to happen. Uh, Ethan now creeping in. Here's a reload. Sees one. Not going to be enough. Gambit brings it within three. Whew. Okay. We talked in the previous round about how 100 Thieves, they have a little bit of room to work with, right? Mm -hmm. you, you don't expect that to go their way. And yeah, they gave it their best effort. They had the Blades from online. I liked what they dialed up, worked their way back into Defender Spawn, tried to wreak some havoc back there, flipped the map. But I think the problem, as you said, was the spike was down in Garage. Gambit saw it, right? They could squat yep. on it, pitch a 10 around it, and they have no problems. But again, now 100 Thieves, they're in a much more comfortable position. Gambit are as well. They've still got a decent amount of money to work with. Quick control over mid, at least to deter a fast push through. They don't want to give 100 Thieves that room immediately. And they do actually get an idea that 100 Thieves is playing a little safe here. Phantom shots from more than one gun come from mid. And that's enough to just play the defense. And then I'm putting two piling into ropes now. It looks like Gambit may want to make a push out. Timing. Timing. Okay, so they understand that they've lost heaven here. And they've got to swing out from ropes. They've got to swing out from ropes, but Hiko stops it! He stops it! He, he absolutely stops the aggressive push that was coming in from ropes that would have blown up the mid play. Huge coming out of Hiko. Astrostar is going into the back of B to try to deter. You can still see one set there by Nitro. 
And that's not the way they're going to be going. Viper's Pit oh already used towards B, so they're going to start heading towards A, and Defo makes a very close shot on Steel to back up for another one. Oh, oh my god, she hits word. another through the cloud burst! He might be able to get a third! No, just misses! Ethan cleans that up, but Shadows is there! Shadows has shown up at just the right time to stop that as well! Things look so good, but now Nitro's left alone in a 1v2, he's got the spike! Shados is weak, Chronicle's gonna show up, but he's gonna show up late! Now it's on Nitro! For him to have heroics, yes, it's been Hiko a couple of times, but can Nitro provide the same spark? Does he have the same gene? Spike continuing to tick down, Cosmic Divide has come out as well, Nitro dancing his way around. Defuse is gonna be quiet. Yeah, and he's, yeah, he's not gonna hear it, wrapping his way all the way around. Shados has started it. They're not looking. And Nitro doesn't know. Shados has started it, and Nitro doesn't know. Shados has started it, and Nitro doesn't know! Shados steals the defuse away right under his nose! Laps. Uh, maybe a lapse, I'm not sure. There was no play towards the end and a lot of time there. Oh. Gambit has played the firefight on those rounds most of the time. So there is an inclination that Nitro feels like that may happen once again. But they quickly get the defuse, knowing they may have that option that the sound was deadened by the Cosmic Divide. Shados absolutely playing out of his mind. And he's somebody you should continue to keep your eyes on here if you don't know who Gambit is. Stage three, he had high frags and already here in the international land stage. He is doing the same. Lighter by coming out from 100 Thieves here, two Spectres and a Sheriff. And, and again, for Gambit, things have gone so well. They're sitting pretty when it comes to money. It's got to hurt if you're 100 Thieves, but yep. again, this is where experience comes into play, right? Like, this is where we've been there. We, we've had things like that happen before. Certainly a chance to make things happen. And the grit that Gambit have shown, refusing to go away, refusing to fold, are now in a position to really push 100 Thieves to the brink. And oh my goodness, Nats anchoring down the site. He was able to get one, able to get a second as well. There's still two rifles and a Spectre in the hands of 100 Thieves. Ult's gonna come out as well. Nitro gets the spike down and Hiko gets the ult. 3v2 situation. This could bring 100 Thieves to knock out Defo. Shados once again, the two alive to bring it back into Gambit's favor. Defo's got an op, but we've seen that he has no problem taking these up close and personal op fights. Shados drops down, nothing doing. They're all huddled up in the Viper's Pit. There's nobody gonna be playing around Garage as well. They're all huddled in on the site. They're playing it tight. Defo goes up top. May get a spot on the steel. No, steel swings out. Defo's not able to land the shot. Steel does it. Nitro does it as well. They were down, but they refused to go quietly into that good night. They take down Gambit. They're going to the knockout stage. What an amazing series to close this day out. 100 Thieves find themselves moving to the knockout stage, but not without being fully tested. Whew. And uh, what, what about Gambit? Right, like bo both of these teams, I think the, the one like as a spectator who just loves watching the, the highest level of Valorant is that we're gonna watch these teams again. Right, like yep. there's so much that we learned from both of these teams. 100 Thieves, the story that they have, the pedigree of the roster and how they've been built and how are they gonna do on land? Yeah, we know <laughs> they have the resume, but can they do it? They walks in, they waltz into the, to Berlin, yep. they get hit in the mouth and they punch right back. And you can see Gambit, a pretty calm, cool, and collected. Obviously, you want to take the win, but I think they also know the depth they can go within this right. tournament now with the play being seen.